they are. The Demon Queen Echidna and the four great generals. Guys, keep going. Get closer. Little more. This job in the bag. Are you stupid? Why in the living hell would we hire you? I am incredibly powerful. Let me join and I promise. <coughs> I'll ensure that you become the greatest demon queen that ever was. Yeah. I'll help you rapidly expand your workforce. I'm ready for you. Under my leadership, performance will skyrocket. Yeah. I'll run your errands. Yeah. I'll clean the bathroom. Yeah. Hire me and then I can't yeah. even. You'll receive a brand new... I'd like to take a moment to explain a bit more about myself. One year ago, the demon army, under the leadership of Queen Echidna, descended upon the human world in a surprise invasion. His Majesty the King gave me a mission to destroy the demon army. As such, I gathered a party of elite heroes and set out from the capital at once. There was just one problem. I don't mean to brag, but I'm quite powerful. I'm a royal knight. I've mastered every weapon known to man, not to mention sorcery. And to be completely honest, my party members just got my way. I had a mage who refused to learn anything that wasn't a healing spell, a meathead soldier who didn't know jack about magic, and an archer who was straight up useless when enemies got too close. Still, I forged trusting bonds with those idiots. We used the powers of teamwork and friendship to take down enemies. We went through thick and thin, even watching them fight over rooms at every inn. It was so stupid! In the time I wasted with them, I could have saved the world five times over, you know? In the end, I decided to set off all on my own. I defeated Queen Echidna, all by myself, I might add. And the demon army as well. There's no reason for her to reject me! Master Leo, perhaps you were not given an offer because she dislikes your demeanor. But I've since turned over a new leaf. Yeah! New leaf! New leaf! <laughs> Stop it and sit down. Calm yourself, Lily. Come on! She's gotta hire him, though! Oh, let her be herself, Marinus. Lily is just delighted to see him again. <sighs> <sighs> I know it's late to realize this, but you've got a real colorful group here. If you wish to discuss something, then just come out with it. Should Queen Echidna find out we were meeting with you, she'd burn the castle to the ground, us inside. And we're only meeting with you because even after you were thrown out, you came back and forced our hand, so don't you forget that. Point taken. Very well, then. Let us start with a presentation. Present, you say? Uh-huh. And I'd like to take this time to remind each of you just how powerful I am. And why are you doing this? I can admit that my demeanor can be problematic at times. Even so, don't forget I have the strength to defeat you all. That should be enough to instantly qualify me for the position. I'm here to remind you of that fact, you see, in hopes to gain your vote of approval. Huh? <laughs> I gotcha. I certainly can vouch for your incredible credentials. <laughs> Frankly speaking, it has been far too long since another person bested me in a fair and honest duel. Why are you laughing about it? Come now. Crossing one's swords with a powerful opponent is always a delight. Wouldn't you agree? The first of the four generals I fought with <sighs> is one here. Standing before you is Edvard, the Red Roar, the Dragon General. <laughs> In terms of raw stats, 
stats, this force of nature was the toughest one out of the bunch. Dragon folk like him and their draconic scales are known for their ridiculous strength. If I had had to fight him with just a sword, who knows how that would have ended. Luckily for me, though, the big guy's kind of a moron. Or rather, he's a noble warrior who charges in to attack by himself. <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, quick question. Mm. Why do you serve Queen Echidna anyway? I mean, you're pretty damn powerful. Bet you could take on the entire world. Interesting you should ask. <clears throat> Honestly speaking, I've never really given it proper thought. I guess it boils down to one thing. I wish to live the life of a proper swordsman, dueling many worthy opponents. Besides, ruling over the land's a busy job. I wouldn't get to spend as much time with my daughter, Julieta. You get it? No, sir. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a daughter. Really? I feel somewhat sympathetic for you when I think about it. Uh, why would you say that? Well, you journeyed alone, that correct? That says you must not have any close friends with whom to spend your time with. Plenty how the same could be said of you, huh? Or am I wrong? I'm 100% sure you don't have any friends either. After I defeated Edvard, I fought this guy here. Marinus. The Unseen Blade, the Shadowless General. He's a purportedly deadly young half-demon, who was once with the Assassin's Guild. I say purportedly, but when I fought him, his speed and strength were unmatched. Five more minutes and he might have bested me. Unfortunately for him, I hadn't gone in there to try and beat him in a contest of speed. I defended myself while casting an AoE spell, Crimson Comet, to blow him away. But the spell ended up destroying everything in its radius, including both Marinus and the Church. And honestly, I had a rougher time with the fight after I defeated him. Apparently the blast was so big, it accidentally took out one of the town's protected historical sites. I'm kind of curious. Whatever happened after that fight you had with the townspeople? Did you ever pay them back? La 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 la! Can't hear you! You'll have to speak louder! La la la! Can't hear you! You'll have to speak louder! Haley, I'm sorry, bud. Hey, hey, Leo! I sounded just like you, didn't I? Didn't I? Huh, huh? <laughs> after Marinus came this surprise. Lily, the Ruthless Fang, the Beast General. The way we met was completely ridiculous. I took shelter from the rain under a tree, and when I looked to the side, she was there, standing next to me. Apparently, the poor thing had amnesia. No family, no friends, and nowhere to go. I wasn't about to leave a little kid out there by themselves, so I took care of her for a few days. But when she finally remembered who she was, she said she is the Beast General Lily. Just my luck. I'd have to fight her eventually, so I got it over with quickly. I won, of course. Pretty, uh, easily, at that. Later, I'd learned that her tribe believes that if someone strong defeats you in combat, they're the person you're destined to be with, so there's that. <laughs> Why does that have to happen to me? Hey, so Leo, when are me and you gonna get married, huh? Come on, marry me! <laughs> I told you, Lily. Huh? I'll marry you when you're just a little bit older, sweetie. I don't wanna wait! No fair! I want now! Pretty please! Uh, the last of the four on. I fought was Shatina, the now. almighty now. mage, now. the sorcerer now. general. Rumors told that she possessed far greater pools of mana than other succubi, and had mastered all types of spells, including ancient and accursed. Knowing that, I played it safe and started our battle with the AoE spell Stasis, which prevents casting altogether. I then challenged her in physical combat. She was... embarrassingly weak. Remember how after two minutes of combat you started sobbing? Kind of sad, really. Of course I'm no match for physical combat! Did you forget that I'm a mage? My forte is sorcery! Sure, but a real professional would have a plan B. But there is no plan B against someone who can nullify all my spells, you pompous ass! There literally isn't anyone in the world who can counter that in the split second their enemy casts it! But there is. That's me. <laughs> Enough gloating. What's this about, anyway? I told you. I was gonna give a presentation. Mm-hmm. I'll admit I did want to hear how he actually defeated you all. Sounds like it happened so fast. Mm hmm I second that. I wanted to hear, too! And you were by far the most useless of us all, Shutina. <laughs> mm hmm I second that. Poor Shutina! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop meandering and get to the point already! Just why did you, a hero, come to interview for a job with the Demon Army? That is what I would like to know. Honestly, what exactly is your reasoning behind wanting to join us, huh?
I didn't come here to mess with you or anything. Don't worry, and I'll answer your question behind my motive. There's a good reason why I left my life of fighting the demon army behind, and why I decided to defect. After defeating the four of you, and of course, Echidna herself, I returned to Renai, the capital. But I wasn't greeted by throngs of cheering citizens, or presented with a royal reward either. Instead, I was met with long stares and sharp glares of shock, fear and skepticism. Not what I expected at all. No, he's a monster in human skin! <laughs> Fear and worry spread like wildfire. There was no stopping it. Uh, uh, uh. Word traveled via letter, messenger pigeon, magic sending, and posters. The hero Leo is a danger to us all. We cannot allow that man to wander free through our fields and streets. We must ensure he never wreaks destruction upon us by putting an end to that man. No monster, you hear me? Yeah! The new demon on the chopping block was me. That was what humanity came to believe. The following days, I was surprised to find myself accosted by a group of assassins. I couldn't believe they were that stupid. I took out the demon queen all by myself. Did they really think I'd fall to some half-brained assassins? Sometime after that, I was called to the palace to speak with the king. Because of your actions, the Philosopher's Stone was kept safe. And for that, I deeply thank you. It pains me to make this decree. But as the kingdom's protector, I cannot turn a blind eye to the concerns of my people. Great hero Leo, I do this with a heavy heart. I hereby banish you from our lands. Very well then. Never forget though. I have the utmost trust in your goodwill. I found myself asking, why did I risk my life to protect this rotten world? Why did I fight tooth and nail against the demon army? Everything was suddenly so meaningless. I never had a home or put down roots, so I had nowhere to go. All I could do was wander aimlessly from village to village. And one day... Echidna. Shit, is she? she sure isn't. I mean, it's only a matter of time before we stop hearing about her. Echidna. <laughs> I don't know why, but I came to a conclusion that the only one who'd be willing to take me in was the demon army itself. So I stayed up all night working on my spiel and put together a fancy presentation. Then I crossed the endless sands scaled the treacherous mountains, all to end up here. If the world is hell-bent on killing me, then I'll have to kill them first. And that's why I want to work for you. realized he wasted all that time protecting the wrong people. I sense no falsehoods nor trickery behind your story. You seem genuine. I thank you, Sorcerer General Shatina. <laughs> mm. 
I've definitely gotten over a big hurdle here. However, uh, you will be hired for a one-month trial period first. I will be your manager for the time being and shall evaluate your worthiness. I expect satisfactory results from you during this trial run. If I'm unsatisfactory... Then you'll be thrown out. I promise to work hard. I'm pretty much done with roughing it out there. The other condition is that you must not let Queen Echidna know we've hired you at all. You will be required to use a magic item or spell to keep yourself disguised at all times, all right? You got it. So what are the issues you've been dealing with? Our top priorities are bolstering our ranks, repairing the castle, and procuring weapons. After that, there's budgeting, improving employee benefits, and providing counseling. Also doing maintenance on mana reactors and training new recruits. <sighs> Rebuilding a whole army is a lot of work, just so you know. And not just for Shatina. I've got a lot of work to do, too. Lot of work! Lot of work! Well, wait, <laughs> stop jumping. I've been helping with loads and no sticks. Like, getting supplies and stuff, and it's been really hard on me. There's so much I gotta do now, and I'll be busy forever and ever! Huh? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You trust her with logistics. The most vital part of any army. That's right! It's the most vital part, and they asked me! Isn't that cool? It's so cool! Tell me I'm cool! Oh Things are even worse than I originally thought. Uh <laughs> Watch it with that! This is all your fault, you know. Let's calm down there, Shatina. You've got to admit, we're hurting over here. It'll be quite a relief to have Master Leo on our side. I suppose so, but still... <clears throat> yeah! Then so be it. I can be calmer. Just watch me. <laughs> Hear that? Now then, we'll let bygones be bygones. Glad to have you on board, Master Leo. Yeah, glad! Same. I appreciate it, Edvard. And Lily. Hey, Amernus. Are you good? Looking forward to working with you. Leo the Hero. <laughs> Produce worthy results during this trial. I'd rather not bring you on as an unpaid intern. Or cheapen your efforts, either. We, the four great generals, will recommend to Queen Echidna that you be hired officially. Take my word. I won't let you down. They're in dire need of people, especially those who know how to manage an organization. Then those bolstered ranks need training. There's a mountain of tasks on the table. They're essentially rebuilding from zero. They're not just struggling, they're on the brink of closing up shop. But that's exactly why I need to talk to Echidna and ask her the question I've been pondering since that fateful day. What are you doing? Queen Echidna! You heard my orders! Yes, this is an invasion, but we must avoid killing! Any territory we occupy must be ruled peacefully! She forbids indiscriminate killing. What cause is so important that she would cripple her army with such a ruling? And why does she still refuse to leave the human world despite her utter defeat? I need to know these answers and more. Prioritize you! Live your life the way you want! Just you watch, Echidna. I'll be a part of your army before you know it. This is the story of how I did just that. Morning starts early at the Demon Queen's castle. My, what a beautiful day it is. Perfect weather for a hard day's work. As a temp who's got to prove himself, I've got to get to work before anyone else. I'm to take care of what I can to show them I'm more than motivated. Now's my time to impress them. Hey, wake up. Five more minutes. Come on, the sun's up. Wakey, wakey. I get that you're tired, but you got work to do. I'm here to help, so up and at him, sleepyhead. Don't wanna. I'm just gonna stay in bed today, okay? <sighs> Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> go, voice change to Queen Echidna. Ah, uh, it's perfect. <clears throat> Sorcerer General, I need a status report on the new job applicants pronto! <clears throat> Surely you don't intend to make your queen wait, right? I am so terribly sorry, Your Highness. We received more applications than originally expected, but haven't processed them yet. But it's only slightly delayed, I swear. So now they're overdue? That's not good. Oh, no. Rest assured, I'll step in personally to ensure they won't be delayed any further. I promise. I'll have the 
list of interview candidates by tomorrow. No, by the end of the day. Will that please you? Bet this is why you're not sleeping enough. That's not true. It's because I've been lacking in my duties. Look, I need you to realize that you can't do everything by yourself, okay? Yes, ma'am. You should be delegating tasks to people who work for you, people you trust. Yes, ma'am. That's the key of being a good boss. Agreed. You are absolutely correct about everything you do. <laughs> Morning, Shatina. I know it's early, but do you have any work for me? <laughs> huh? Shots fired? She must have had a nightmare. It must be stress related. Damn it! I can't believe you! Honestly, totally unbelievable! Hey, uh, is I'm something the matter? For you minute. seem like you're really mad. What's got you like so worked that. up anyway? Uh, you idiot! I hate every infinitesimal speck of your existence, you hear me? In truth, the Demon Army was suffering from an extreme lack of personnel. I don't mean to brag, but after my highly destructive assaults on their army, most of the top brass had returned to the Demon World to recover from their injuries, you see. The work they'd left behind had to be handled by those who remained, that being the four generals. As you could presume, nobody knew how to do that exactly. No one, save for Shutina. It's comparable to the sort of thing that plagues big companies. Work veterans can handle the task quite easily, but those veterans don't have the time to write a manual or train the newbies how to do those tasks for themselves. Then you have Queen Echidna, who puts the pressure on to re-fortify her army as soon as possible, and a certain someone who just can't help but overwork themselves to do it, even if it means overworking herself to death. That explains why her icicle lance barely packs a punch. <sighs> I came here to help with your workload, you know. You could stand to be a little nicer to me. Have you lost your mind? Why in the world would I be nice to a man who barges into my room while I'm sleeping? I mean, you're a succubus, aren't you? <gasps> Don't say that! Hang on, so is this your current task list, Shatina? Correct. With the highest priority jobs at the top. Let's see, evaluate applications, then reorganize the Sorcerer Corps, perform regular maintenance on Queen Echidna's retainer homunculi, somehow figure out operating cost reduction. There's like 50 tasks on here. Why don't you delegate some of them? To whom exactly? I have no colleagues or subordinates. All right, all right, calm down. Okay, the last task on this list is replenishing the mana reactors. What are you looking at? Let me think for a second. So a number of castle facilities and instruments tapped into mana from the reactors, right? Now there's something important to keep in mind. Only the person who created them can replenish it with mana. That being said, any reactors that Shutina created can only be replenished by Shutina herself. If anyone with a different mana wavelength tried to help, the reactor would be destroyed. But that's where I come in. What are you smirking at? From today on, I'm gonna handle replenishing your mana reactors. While I appreciate the offer, that task is quite the headache. You're not gonna ask how I'll do it? You were planning to mimic my exact wavelength with Harmonize, I assume. It's common sense. It's only common sense to sorcerers as powerful as we are. <laughs> so, how many reactors do you have, anyway? Only four. It's really not that many in the grand scheme of things, but there are over a hundred throughout the castle. They only have to be replenished once every few days. Got it. Give me just two and a half hours. That's all I need, and I promise I'll have it done. I could finish a job about this size in less than an hour, though. Don't be like that. I'll promise you this and stake my honor as a hero on it. Promise me what? To never, ever disappoint you. Pretty sweet, right? Trust uh... me, when I'm done, you'll be all like, Oh, yay! My workload is gonna be so light! You're amazing, Leo! Love ya! Then you'll jump up and give me a huge smooch! <sighs> Fine, go get it done. That's all you have to say. It's been 14 seconds. Also, I don't sound like that. All right, all right, I'm going. Metamorphose. Wait, I gotta think of a name. Something super cool. It's now been 30 seconds. Oh, one favor, actually. Could you give me the title Assistant to the General? I believe that'll help get the people to trust me. Very well. Thanks. Hey, so... How's the name Godheart sound? Get a move on already! <sighs> and that's...
that's why I've come to you three. If you notice Shatina acting off at all, please let me know immediately. Sounds like a plan. I do wish that I could be of help to her somehow. You shouldn't. Shutina would stress out even more. I suppose you're right. Everyone, thank you. Of course. Huh? <sighs> oh, count me in! I'll help too! Heck yeah! I got this! Woohoo! Just you watch me! I have returned, milady. Why are you speaking so stuffy? Milady. I wanted to blend in more, so I figured I'd change up my speaking style. <sighs> it's only been 30 minutes. Have faith. I told you I would take care of everything. If that's the case, I suppose I should give you another task then. Not yet, thanks. I'm kind of tired. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, it's been a minute since I've adjusted my mana wavelength. That's a mirage, eh? I only wanted to watch you while I take a little breather. Promise I won't get in your way. I'll sit quietly. <sighs> I've got another task lined up for you when you're done resting, all right? <sighs> Leo, you must be rested by now. I could use a hand. Not yet. I need a little more time to recover. Been a while since I've used Metamorphose. Took a lot out of me. <laughs> Stuff surprisingly bland. Note to self, improve the food too. It's been an hour since you've returned. Surely you're more than rested now. No, nah, I need a little longer. My man is still recovering. You lazy bastard! Get up! Now. Get up this instant! Jeez, uh, oh, you're heavy! <laughs> uh, yeah. Most sorcerers don't realize you can use gravity root to do this. Ah, where's this mana you're wasting on silly spells coming from? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Do I go with the name Lord Godheart or Lord Bloodsword? Wait, I could go with something totally different. Black Knight Onyx. What you think, Shatina? <laughs> hmm? Something up? Hero Leo, I understand full well now. I've come to the conclusion that you're just a worthless, lazy leech of time and resources. Not worth the help. Whoa, okay. Let's calm down. Oh, I'm very calm. In fact, I'm confident in the decision that I have reached. I've come to the level-headed conclusion that you will not be of use to our army in the slightest. Hold still, Dio Neal. Zod, spiral oh, radiant oh, light, fill my hands with your piercing rays of the gods now! Not me! You'll destroy all your paperwork! Gaia Sail! <laughs> going to join the Demon Queen's Legion. I have to, for good reason. And if I want to join, I'll need to show results and get the generals on my side, obviously. This right here is step one. So, Dianette, was it? Very good work. By the look of you, all must have gone well. Uh-huh, that's right, Lord Godhart. Please call me Black Knight Onyx. From now on, no, forsooth, wait, henceforth, whatever, it's Black Knight Onyx. Y yes Lord Onyx. Right then, proceed with your report on the reactor maintenance. Yes, my lord. The talisman you granted me worked without incident, Lord Onyx. I was impressed with its power. It appears to be durable enough Wait, to wait, wait, hold on! A talisman? What's this about? Le- uh, rather, Lord Onyx, was it not you who replenished the reactors? Uh, oh, about that. Please, let her finish her report, Sorcerer General. Oh. <clears throat> Please proceed. Y yes milady. The talisman appears to be durable enough for continued use. So perhaps, with your permission, I'd like for us to continue the job. We may be able to replenish them all in your stead. Is that okay, General Shutina? Won't it be a problem since I created the reactors? Are you certain you'll be able to replenish them? I'll uh, take it from here. I am sure you are confused, but perhaps things will make more sense once I explain what exactly I was doing in those 30 minutes that I was gone. I was struck with a brilliant idea, so I went to the castle workshop and procured an amethyst from the local goblin goldsmith. I filled the amethyst with mana tuned to your exact wavelength. And since amethysts are sturdy stones, they'll stay attuned to a wavelength indefinitely. Anyone who holds it on their person will be attuned to your wavelength as well. So I created a talisman with the stone, which only took 15 minutes. I 
left the workshop, then lost five minutes to an unexpected distraction. Then I took five minutes to find Dianette here. With my last five minutes, I showed her how to use everything. Ugh. He explained to me that as long as I'm wearing this talisman, I can safely replenish all of your reactors without damaging anything. After that, I said, go find a few other people with the appropriate ability and split the job up, so it makes it easier on you. Yes, sir. I found three other sorcerers of similar capacity. We passed the talisman around to refill the reactors. Excellent. I trust, then, that all four of you understand the procedure? Oh. The Sorcerer General is a busy woman. Form a team of four and assume responsibility for replenishing her reactors henceforth. I'll have enough talismans for all of you within the next three days. Yes, sir. It took a bit longer than I'd like for this task, but it's all right, because it is your first time. I expect you'll perform it quicker come tomorrow, now that you are familiar with it. Of course, my lord. Then that will be all. Wait just a sec. Uh, I... As you can see, the mana reactors have been replenished. It is our duty to lessen the burden on your shoulders, right? Poor Dianette here was concerned about your health as well, just so you're aware. She, she was? Sorry, but it's the truth. I was. I know you've been grappling with a mountain of tasks in recent days, General Shutina. your own tasks, okay? <sighs> Admittedly, I had neither the courage nor ability to press the matter. However, thanks to Lord Onyx, we'll be able to take some weight off your shoulders with the reactor assistance. If there's anything else we can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. We insist. <laughs> I see. Very well. So be it. I will be sure to reach out to you when I need the extra hand. Perfect. Good work. You are dismissed. Yes, milady. And thank you. <laughs> Twould seem you finally understand my true labors, Sorcerer General. <laughs> All you need to do now is let them handle it and hear their reports. You'll only have to help out if something goes wrong. <sighs> Told you, didn't I? I only needed two and a half hours, and now your responsibilities have been permanently decreased. <sighs> That big a workload isn't something that should be done alone, you know. Especially not in a large organization where there are plenty of people who can help. Instead of having one extremely adept person work extremely hard, it's best to delegate many small tasks out to less skilled people. It just makes sense that's how you'd get the most done. We're speaking in an ideal world, of course. Why didn't you explain all that to me earlier? You could have said you asked Diana to help. Simple. It's because you worry too much. If I told you, you would have rushed off to go check on her. Am I wrong? <laughs> Most of the members of your army are people you personally interviewed and recruited yourself, so it's pretty safe to assume they'll perform well, right? So trust in your judgment and in the people working beneath you. As a rule of thumb, run the organization so it'd be fine even if you dropped dead. Uh, uh, that's a lot of talk for someone who insisted on working alone. <laughs> I've got a lot of life experience under my belt. Uh, wait just a second. Uh, you made a huge production of teaching and delegating to a subordinate, and while they were hard at work, you did nothing but loaf about in my office all dang day. You slacker, what's your excuse? Uh, stop shouting. Yes, I was loafing around, but I was working. Huh? Here. I learned a lot about you from watching you and your cleavage work. And I noticed some inefficiencies here and there. So I took the liberty of rearranging your priorities. Take a look. Let me see. Wait, did you say cleavage? See those seven tasks I circled in red? You can delegate those without worry. <laughs> but can they handle it? You need to teach them how to handle it. That's your job as their boss. Uh... Oh, is this a map of the Largo Sea? <laughs> I heard the fish from that area are fantastic. <laughs> we can make a few scrumptious meals if we got some delivered. But considering how dangerous the shipping routes are, I don't know. Leo? Oh. <laughs> yes, Sorcerer General Shatina? I must apologize. I have gravely misjudged you, Leo. Come on now. I was only doing my job, is all. That only makes it worse. 
I feel terrible that despite how harshly I acted towards you during the interview, you still pressed on and did an excellent job. I couldn't call myself a general if I didn't thank you for that. Don't mention it. I completely understand. If you go down, the whole army goes down. And then I really won't have a place to go anymore. I was just looking out for myself. There's no need to thank me. You're so unlikable, jeez. And here I was, trying to give you a heartfelt apology. Why do you think I was traveling alone for so long? Uh... All right. Better start on my next task. Call me if you need me. I look forward to working with you. Just wanted to tell you that. See you! <laughs> oh, there's one more thing. What is it? Remember what I said after you gave me this task? I made a promise that I wouldn't disappoint you, correct? Then I follow that up with something specific. What? Trust me, when I'm done, you'll be all like, Okay, my weapon is gonna be so light! You're amazing, Leo! Love ya! Then you'll jump up and give me a huge smooch! <sighs> Fine, get it done. Ah! On the lips or on the cheek? It'll be dealer's choice. We can even climb into bed and take it. Remove yourself from my visit! That hurt way more than this morning! I needed anything, is that right? I didn't think you'd call me so soon. You see, Lily is headed to Largo on a logistics mission, and the castle's food and equipment stores are running low. So we need to make sure this shipment comes in safe and sound. Gotcha, that could be a serious problem. Sadly, that isn't the only issue. Huh? Here's the mission plan Lily submitted to me. Everyone's gonna have a big ol' happy time! The Largo Sea. Scattered throughout its beautiful waters are throngs of islands, most of which being unexplored, shrouding the sea in a veil of mystery. But amidst those isles lies a bountiful paradise, teeming with undiscovered flora, fauna, and mineral deposits. There, the shipwrecks of old are reclaimed by nature. It's like a beautiful tragedy, quite a sight to behold. And right now, I'm enjoying a little vacation here in those very tropics. If only that were true. Lucky demon army! Get ready to race! Now, let's go! Hold on! Lily, stop! You little brat! Headed to Largo tomorrow on a logistics mission. Largo? Why is she going that far out? Because of their relationship to the Demon Army, we have a steadfast, unbreakable alliance. I had no clue about that. They're the land of the dragon folk, right? About 3,000 years ago, Demon King Belial led an attack on the human realm. After his defeat, many denizens of the Demon World found peace with humanity and became a diverse part of their society. Dragonfolk attempted to do the same. But then the humans began to aggressively persecute them. It was clear coexistence was not an option. So they went off to live in peace in the Largo Islands. That's correct. It's still a fresh wound for the Dragonfolk. That period of history was painful for their people, as you can imagine. Hence, this was why they welcomed Queen Echidna's invasion with open arms. Know why the Demon Army was able to continue the fight against humanity for so long? The Largo Island folk. Their stalwart support and fervent assistance was a big factor. They're our army's lifeline, and we'd accomplish much less without them. Wow, I would have never known that. Dragon folk, damn. Can't say I'm really surprised they're still holding that grudge. Anyway, all right. I guess you want me to head to Largo and help out with the logistics mission, then. Indeed. The castle's food and equipment stores are running on the low side, so we need to make sure that this shipment comes in safe and sound. Gotcha. That could be a serious problem. Sadly, that isn't the only issue. Huh? Here's the mission plan Lily submitted to me. Everyone's gonna have a big ol' happy time! Wait, what? Believe it or not, this is actually how all her reports look. 
We entrust her with enough manpower to carry out her mission efficiently, but she never finishes on time. Oh, I see. So then why are you sending me anyway? Can't you just get Edvard to go? He's Dragonfolk himself, and from Largo, no less. Bet he'd come in pretty handy. We can send him. Huh? We need him to stay back and protect the palace. Hey, I'll get that. And I'll get that one, too. And the one next to it, as well. Plus, knowing him, he'd end up doing everything himself. Mm-hmm. And Lily won't learn anything if he does all the work. So you want me to tag along just to help keep an eye on her, yeah? I do. Who knew I joined the demon army only to be put on babysitting duty? <sighs> if that's the job you assigned me, then I'll do it. I do want to get hired, after all. Appreciate it, Leo. You can use the warp portal to get there. It will take you straight to Largo. Don't go missing me too much now. I'll be back real soon. <gasps> Make preparations to leave as soon as possible! Go! How sure are we that she's a succubus? Right then. I'm finally here in Largo. facilities are brimming with supplies. If the individual strengths of this Isle's myriad races were used effectively, with the right person assigned for every job, it would take a day, two days at the longest to get this mission done. <sighs> Again, that's if everyone was assigned a task they'd be best at. Oh. Hey, Leo, try this thing. It's real yummy. Uh, I'm good. Then I'll go pass them out to everyone else. Hey! Here, have some carrots. Thank you. So... Who's that guy? Huh? Oh, I'll introduce you. He's super cool. You're looking at my future husband. Black Knight Onyx, and what nonsense. We are not betrothed. You guys are all invited to our wedding. That is not happening. Uh, fine. Force my hand, why don't you? <laughs> Excuse me, I need you to focus on these repairs henceforth. Huh? What the heck are you talking about? I know you're new, but are you stupid? Any procedure change has got to be signed for by the boss. <sighs> the boss, huh? <sighs> Isle's inhabitants have lodged dozens of complaints against us. I'm so sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Please forgive me. We can't apologize more for what we've done, but I hope this helps a little. This keeps up. The resupply will be the least of our worries. We'll end up losing the dragon folk in the logistics center altogether. And if that happens, then it's only a matter of time before the demon army goes under. Uh. Did you miss me? Huh? Is there something wrong? Are you feeling sick? You want a snack? How about a nap? My head hurts. Ah, oh no! Huh? I mean, Gosh, metaphorically I speaking, not literally. You need medicine. Hang on. Medicine. Who has Lily medicine? really is such a sweet kid. Does anyone here have medicine? It's an emergency. Have the supplies from Largo arrived? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, ma'am. I see. Perhaps the job's too big for the kid to handle. Lily's one of the four generals, just like us. And besides that fact. Our forces wiped out. About half of our castle's facilities in complete ruins. True. But thankfully, there wasn't a single casualty in the battle against the hero Leo. Which means that monster was going easy on us. 
It's so frustrating. We threw everything we could possibly throw at him in that battle, too. But it didn't matter. As much as we tried, it was basically nothing for him. I feel so embarrassed. Useless. Please, your highness. Hey, Echidna! Huh? I found this growing by the gate! It's a present for you! <laughs> I know! Let's plant a ton of these in the garden, yeah? Okay? Don't you think it would look so pretty? That's a great idea. Thanks for sharing, Lily. I'm sure Lily understands what to do. I seriously hope so. with logic like I would with Shatina. Leo's feeling really sick. It's nice she's so worried about me, but I wish she'd spend half that energy, hell, a tenth of that energy working instead. I've got it. Hey, Leo. I'm sorry it took so long. I got you some pain medicine. Huh? Are you okay? Does your head hurt? It's a snake bite. Huh? Bingo. I summon this venomous viper, and it's gonna help Lily mature. Uh, no, Leo, stay with me. It's the end of the line for me. I'll be dead 12 hours from now. I don't want you to die, Leo. I know. Bet that Shutina can heal you. She cannot. The warp portal has been damaged. We can't get back to the castle anymore. Huh? I made sure that nobody in the Isles of Largo had the skill to be able to heal me. Which means there's only one other way to save my life. I know what to do. I'll go pick you some herbs. Just like I wanted. In case, you should find some growing up on the western peaks. Uh, my vision's growing dark. Hold on, I'll be right back, okay? Mm. Is west to the right or the left? That away. You got it. The western peaks. I'll just cleanse. Trials I've prepped on the road to the Western Peaks are ready. To get through them as quickly as possible, she'll need to manage her people right and use the power of teamwork. Yes, these trials were specifically designed to teach her how to manage a team on her own. Not to toot my own horn, but it's the peak of on-the-job training. <laughs> Western Peak Herbs! Western Peak Herbs! Western Peak Herbs! <laughs> she has taken is a protected deity on the continent of Urkia, which is Lily's homeland. I have no idea why she's able to transform into something that important. Can anyone in her tribe do that? Or is she just that special? There's only one thing I know for sure. She's reached the first trial, and how this plays out will be interesting. I've cast an invincibility spell on this huge boulder to nullify physical attack. Is this rock the kind you can't break? To break through, she'll need to find a subordinate who can remove the spell. I can't break it! I'm in a hurry, you know! You got it. That's right. She'll figure it out. It's an important lesson for her to learn that if she can't do something herself, she can do it with the team. And when she realizes oh, that... Oh, there it goes! Wait, what the hell? Little more! Little more! Almost! Almost? Don't be stupid! You're not supposed to brute force it! Yeah. Yeah. Just give up and go to the nearest village! A whole troop of spellcasters is stationed there! What's wrong with you? You can run there in less than a minute! She was supposed to get her underlings to help. 
It's okay. I know she can't get through the second trial herself. This time, it'll work.
It's perfect. You really thought this through. It'll help a lot. Good job, Lily. <laughs> Everyone was super duper happy to split up the work and get it done faster. I realized just how important it is to work as a team. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. She's on her way to becoming a great leader. I agree. Although I could have done without the whole mock wedding ceremony, if I'm being really honest with you. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? It's not funny. So, what's today's job? Oh, right. We've no time for small talk. <clears throat> now, Leah, I have a rather important missive for you. <laughs> I bet I can take a wild guess. I'm being upgraded to a permanent employee. Oh. It's a message coming straight from Queen Echidna. Black Knight Onyx is to report to me at once. Crap. She knows, doesn't she? Dubcast. Zero five. Engage the enemy at once. Roger that. Prioritizing preservation of civilian lives. Savior, and yet somehow that was not the case. I was not met with cheers, but with eyes filled with fear and grandiose expectations. But I don't care. I'll still protect humanity. That's the whole reason I exist. I'll defend the world, too. That's all humanity wants from me. That's all I live for. that the rest of today is going to turn out crappy now. It's a message coming straight from Queen Echidna. Black Knight Onyx is to report to me at once. Crap. She knows, doesn't she? What's your plan? Lily got real close to revealing my true identity before, but I dodged that one, luckily. Now, Leo, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her yet. Perhaps she's angry about that. Oh, uh, I forgot to do that. Anyway, I did tell her about how our work has been proceeding smoothly, all thanks to Lord Onyx's assistance. Then that's why she wants to see me, moron! What'd you say? C come on, what should I have said? <sighs> and Echidna didn't just stumble into that title of Demon Queen. Armed with her beloved Tilving, she can hold her own against Edvard in single combat. And she's as good a spellcaster as Shatina. It's scary how powerful she is, no matter the tricks I employ. She might still be able to see through my disguise. I'd waste no time. If she realizes who you are, call me, and do not hesitate. I'll be all right. I can figure it out on my own. Just pretend you had no idea. Right then. What excuse do I give to Echidna? Tis I, Black Knight Onyx. I have come to answer your summons. Enter. Okay. Let's see what you have in store for me. Thank you. <gasps> so you're the wonderful Onyx. I've heard so much about your marvelous deeds. I'm sorry I summoned you on such short notice. Well, it doesn't sound like she's figured out who I am, at least. Come now. Please take a seat. Wait. Hold on. You can't be serious. For crying out loud, there are only two seats at this table. Just relax. There's no need for formalities today. Let's enjoy a fine meal and good liquor together, shall we? Whenever I have a nightmare, I know the next day's bound to be hell. <laughs> have you tried the alcohol yet, Lord Onyx? It's fantastic. Quite a nice flavor, if I do say so. And the food is stellar. <laughs> Happy to hear it. This looks like your typical after-hours drink with a straight-laced worker and his chill boss. Of course, it's anything but. I want to get out of here as quickly as humanly possible, and I'm terrified she'll find out who I am in the midst of all this. So, Onyx. Uh, proceed. About your helm. Are you going to wear that for much longer? You can take it off, you know. Thank you, but I must decline. It'd be rude to show my bare face to you, your highness. Please, I told you to dispense with formalities. I'd much rather prefer it if we were able to talk face to face. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, uh... Oh. Okay. Now let's see that boorish face of yours. Oh, no. There we go! Hmm? Wait a moment. I didn't have time to change my face that much. <laughs> Is there something wrong? 
<laughs> a stalwart face. I can sense immense strength behind your soft visage. Just a shame to hide it away behind a helm, if you ask me. <laughs> that was a close one. Thank goodness she's so drunk. Come now, don't hold back. Enjoy yourself. By all means, stuff yourself until you burst. <laughs> I'm drinking alone with my boss, and if she finds out who I am, I'm dead. How am I supposed to enjoy a drink? Mm. Now that's good. This moment is paradise on Earth. <laughs> I need to get out of this paradise ASAP. But I have to play it smart. <laughs> your Highness, your glass is empty. Allow me to pour you some more. How considerate of you to notice. Thank you. Here you go. Let me give you a couple of tips about how to make business parties a little easier. Tip number one, the moment your boss's glass is empty, fill it up. Ah! Please have some more. Thanks. You can take a break from the conversation while filling their cup, and they'll think you're perceptive and considerate. Ah. Here, have another glass. Sure. However, that's not the only thing I'm after. Right now, my goal is simple. Get her dead drunk. That's all I'm focused ah. on. My, you're thirsty. Come have another. I shall. That's it. Down the hatch. A little more. Drink till you're sloshed. Then, at long last, you can put an end to this horrible event. <clears throat> Are you feeling unwell, Your Highness? Perhaps you had a bit too much to drink today. It may be best if yes, we... Yes, right you are. Now that we're warmed up, let's go even harder now! We're downing bottles from here on out! Uh... <laughs> Come drink up, Onyx! Don't be shy, just, just, just. Uh, Though this strategy might not work against heavyweights, so keep that in mind. <sighs> been too long since I've been able to enjoy a relaxing spot of tea. I have Leo to thank for this, too. Oh, I wonder how his meeting is going. I hope that everything is running smoothly for him. Perhaps I should go quickly check on them? Maybe not. What if I say something and it only make things even worse? Goodness! And why am I getting all worked up over that hero anyway? You're worried about <gasps> Leo? Here! My report's done! But Lily? You didn't hear anything. You understand, correct? You misheard me. That's right. I didn't say anything like that at all. <clears throat> huh? I heard what? I couldn't kill her with alcohol, but I'm not giving up. I've got another trick up my sleeve. Unfortunately, it'll take some time to execute. I just need to segue oh. into it. I must admit, everything has been scrumptious. Especially the sausage you're now eating, Your Highness. It's simply to die for. I'm glad you like it. There's definitely something special in this sausage that makes it truly fantastic. Tip number two for making drinking parties less of a headache. People are fond of those who show an active interest in them and their tastes. And when you're eating and drinking together, you have all the fodder one could possibly need. I can tell that this sausage is made with spices from Largo. The minced pepper inside gives it a pleasant color. From Largo, you say? We've been hunting for resources so much lately. I rarely had time to enjoy such extravagant meals. You know, thanks to Lily's efforts, things are slowly improving now. I always knew she could handle the task in the end. <sighs> Look at that innocent face. She looks like a normal girl when she smiles like that. Not to mention, I have to give credit to the chefs who prepared the food so expertly. You should know that those sausages were made by yours truly. The cooks down at the Demon Rat Tavern, the Castle Dining Hall, made absolute slop. So I shared some key recipes and trained them on how to make them. Which leads to tip number three. If there's food, learn as much as you can about it beforehand. And a food topic can lead to any manner of conversation. It's an excellent segue. After what Shutina told me, I was curious about the kind of man you were. You're great at your job and also a culinary expert. You are quite the fellow, Lord Onyx. Hardly. My talents and knowledge are rather modest, Your Highness. There's just one thing I wish to ask. I'm quite curious. You seem to always wear that helm of yours. And I know that we did touch on this before, but could you explain why? Indeed. About that. I knew it. Time for tip number four. The only time a powerless newbie can sell themselves to the boss is when the boss asks them questions. Your answer can drastically change the flow of the outing or the workload of the next day. It's tragic. I've been cursed by the goddess Tiana. The time I'm allowed to show my face to others is gravely limited. As such, I must spend most of my time encased in armor. Goodness! You've not worn it this whole time. Will you be all right? To be frank, I may be cutting it close. However, I'm glad to take that risk if it means a chance to spend time with your highness. That's enough! You're quite the talker, aren't you? 
And this is how you get out of a drinking excursion early. It's as simple as mentioning you have a clear-cut time limit, and you can escape any horrific situation. Now a kid knows I'm working with limited time here. What a great day it's been! Let us toast to the friendship between the Black Knight and Demon Queen! Now we two shall drink up and talk the night away! Let's down that bottle now! <laughs> drink that long, huh? Goodness, I'm absolutely thrilled! I refuse. Then I guess that must mean that you want Leo to have to go away, then. Huh? Go on, do you? Do you? Uh, do, uh, well, no. General Shadina, are you there? Yes, Diana. You sound distressed. Is everything okay out there? I have an extremely urgent message for you. Huh? It's been a few hours since this drinking party from hell began. And while she hasn't figured out who I am yet, I still want to get the hell out of here. Lord Onyx, I'm grateful for all you've done. Uh. Not only did you lessen Shatina's workload mere moments after you arrived, but you have also been keeping a watchful eye on Lily. Your efforts have been of great help to us all. I arranged this feast special to pay you back for your hard work. Echidna. Wow, you're way too kind to me, your highness. Human or demon, we gladly welcome all who have skills to donate to our cause. I'm glad we have you among our ranks in the demon army. Hmm. My gratitude. Oh, what of that hero? I heard he wanted to join your forces as well. Would you welcome him too? The hero? He's the one exception. I don't want him here, period! He's nothing but a twisted man, a social reject! He's the last person I'd want in my army! If we were foolish enough to let him in, he'd rip us to shreds! He's right here, literally right in front of you. And already made things way better for your organization. He could do a thousand! No! Ten thousand hands worth of chores and work for all I care! If it wasn't for him, we'd be doing just great! I would have had the Philosopher's Stone in my hands by now! So that was what she was after. It's all because of him! Let's leave her to stew a bit and talk about this Philosopher's Stone. This special object is a treasure held in the holy city of Renai. It's rumored that the first Saint King dug it up over 3,000 years ago. He then used its power to found the capital proper. Rumors say that the Philosopher's Stone turned the wastelands around the city to green fields, protected the city's people from plague, and could even make someone immortal. Most of these tales turn out to be bogus, of course. How do I know this? Because I've used it before. The stone that's located in the capital isn't the one I used, though. As nice as it would be, it also doesn't give someone superpowers or anything. It's not a magic power-up or cure-all. Uh, if you looked up the worst in the dictionary, his name would be there in the dictionary. she's still going? How much trash does she have to talk about me? Do you understand how close we were? We were so deep into Renai that we could literally see the stone sacred hall before us. If only we had gotten that stupid thing, we could have accomplished everything we came for. You don't say. So you're telling me that the main reason why you haven't retreated despite losing so many men is because you're not after conquest but the Philosopher's Stone? That's right. Oh, in hindsight, I realize I was far too aggressive with that war. I made an amateur mistake by trying to take on all of humanity just to obtain the Philosopher's Stone. You could have tricked them, or even stolen it. Or worked together. Huh. There's a children's tale just like that, about humans and demon kind joining forces. Abrad the Joiner of Hands, I believe. That's right, it's an old human story. I heard it myself from a succubus storyteller. It tells of an oddball imp who travels to the human world and builds a city where humans and demons live together in harmony. Correct. Sadly, it'll only be but a story. It's simply unachievable for us. We are destined to always remain enemies. But truly, how I wish it were not the case. Which only makes me even more curious about your goals, truthfully. Huh? What do you wish to achieve by gaining the Philosopher's Stone? Ever since her defeat, I've been dying to know this. After being beaten into submission, losing most of her army and territory, I can't figure out why she hasn't returned to the demon world. I'm unable to wrap my head around her motivations. If she was after something silly, for instance, immortality or riches, she would have lost motivation and left long ago. So after everything, why does she still persist? Why is she still here in this castle, rebuilding her army? Follow me. Wow. What a view. It's the most beautiful in this light at this time of day. Tell me, have you ever been to the demon world? No. It is the location that we call home. A grand, vast wasteland. 
It has no sun, no vegetation. The air is heavy and the water is muddy and impure. A rather dreary place, as you can imagine. Demon clans fight one another over the little resources that remain, staining the wasteland with blood. Sounds like a demonic world indeed. I am absolutely sick of that place. Huh? My goal is to bring order to my world of chaos. To rid that tragic land of conflict. To bathe it in the warm sunlight. To cleanse the waters to sparkle in that light. I wish for fish to swim in those waters. And for grasslands and forests to sway in the wind. Can you imagine? <sighs> that is why I sought the help of Shutina and other skilled comrades. It's ambitious, so I need the help. It's why I came to the human world. The Philosopher's Stone will reforge the land. I had no idea. This whole time she's been fighting humanity to better the lives of her people. I really misjudged her. Damn. You surprised? Bet you never thought you'd hear that from me, huh? Did not? It's all right. I'm accustomed to this reaction. I honestly have no quarrel with humanity, but the Philosopher's Stone must be ours. So then if they were to willingly offer it up, would you accept it without shedding blood? Hypothetically speaking. Of course, but I'm not sure if they would believe our intentions. The Holy Capital's the human realm center. Stealing the very thing that holds that city together would hurt their livelihoods, so it'd be impossible to work this out with them. I have no other choice, though. Those who cooperate with us, like the Dragon Folk, and the humans from Lily's home, will all be given sanctuary. But I care not what happens to the other humans. Ugh! I mean it! Not in the slightest! Yet you've forbidden needless killing, have you not, Your Majesty? This is an invasion! But we still must avoid killing whenever possible! I heard that policy ended the war. It was truly a fantastic call. There were mercifully low numbers of casualties on both sides. Indeed. And do you know what it brought us in the end? Ultimate defeat. I curse my naivete. I simply could not fully become the villain. Humans may be our enemy, but they have homes they want to protect, too. And friends. And family. Considering that, I simply couldn't do it. <sighs> to be honest about the hero, Leo, I don't bear him any ill will after all is said and done. Huh. Might I inquire why? He is a hero. His sole purpose is to stand up and protect humanity. I shouldn't fault him for doing just that. He fought off an invader who was attacking his people. That man may have put a brisk halt to my plans, but he wasn't wrong to do so. After all, the fault lay with us. Our side was the aggressor in this war. I see her differently now. She's kind. A loving queen who cares deeply for her people. And she had to become an evil conqueror to provide for her beloved subjects. She must have wondered if she was doing the right thing the entire time. I'm sure she was assailed by anxiety, unspeakable despair, never-present worry. And then, someone brought about the greatest anguish of all. That was me, the hero Leo. Black Knight Onyx, what about you? Huh? Why did you join us anyway? Did humanity betray you? Do you wish to end this world? Which one is it? Perhaps you've simply come seeking a place to die. What is your true motivation? Tell me. About that. This is why I hate going out drinking with colleagues. We were shooting the shit, then suddenly it got into a serious topic where I have to be honest. It'd be easy to lie, but she's just opened her heart to me. If I deceived her further, she'd be even more upset when I revealed who I was. But that's not it. I just don't want to lie to this poor woman anymore. Not as part of any strategy, but because I genuinely want to support her. Especially now that I know that she just wants to save her home. What's my motive? Right. I suppose I should tell you. Hmm? I'll have to break it to her. Then apologize for the deception. I'll tell her how much I want to help. I have something to say. Yes? I... I am... Your Highness! <sighs> Your Highness, I finally found you! What's wrong, Generals? It's real bad! Big problem! Here. I'm going on a journey. Please don't come looking for me. Shadowless General Marinus. I have failed to properly train my troops and will be taking my life to make amends. Dragon General Edvard. What?
Hey, so what's going on with you, man? Come on, let it out. You can tell your cool older bro about it, you know? No need to hold it in. Just spill it. My age. Hmm? Go on. Come to think of it, Shatina mentioned that his birthday was actually not too long ago. What are you, 16? 17? But there are many people your age in the army. You feeling bummed out? Want us to throw you a birthday party, huh? We're just about the same age, so stop acting like you're older than me. Hmm. I was trying to help, and that's all you say? Sheesh, I thought getting here was a pain. What? I'm going on a journey. Please don't come looking for me. I have failed to properly train my troops and will be taking my life to make amends. The hell is this crap? I, I mean, oh my word. What's with Mirnes and Edvard? Don't come looking for me. Taking my life to make amends? Don't BS me. Why does every single one of you have the weirdest issues? Do you know where they might be headed? Edvard is at the training grounds, but we've no idea where Mirnes might be. <laughs> I shall seek General Mirnes. Appreciate it. In that case, I will set out and search for Edvard. Shatina, Lily, ma'am. Uh, uh, I can't uh, Your Highness, relax. You can barely walk. Let us go in your stead. Do not worry. I'll sober up right now. <sighs> Onward! I'll reveal who I am once all this is taken care of. Good. There's still a faint trace of magic. I thought Marinus and Edvard were managing just fine, but it sounds like they were struggling with things deep down. Still, this is going overboard. Do they only see things in black and white? He's close. Hey! Stop! It's me, Leo! What's up with that letter? Going on a journey, huh? Surprised you couldn't come up with anything better than that for an excuse. I'm telling the truth, though. I just wanted to go on a little trip for a bit. Great generals can't just up and go on a little trip out of nowhere, though. You know that. If we lose even one of you guys, we'd have to rebuild the army from scratch. We'd be screwed. Tell me, what's the deal with you? You want to quit, or is something else bothering you? I don't care what it is, just spill it. If Marinus tries to escape by running off, I might not be able to catch him. And if he was serious about hiding from me, I probably wouldn't be able to find him either. Can't let him get away before I find out why he wants to go. If your mind is really set on leaving, then I'm not gonna try and stop you, okay? Are you even listening to me? If that's how you feel, there's nothing wrong with wanting to quit. Hell, wanting to quit is a good sign that you should quit. So what's your reason? If it's good, I'll go back and tell him I had no luck finding you. But... What? So listen, when you want to quit a job, you have to be certain of it can't be something you're gonna regret. Maybe your next job's lined up, and your replacement's ready to go. And you wanna punch your shitty boss. I mean, square in the face. Promise me, no matter what, you won't regret it and your mind's made up. Other people might not want you to go, but if you wanna go, that's all that matters. Also, if you have even the slightest doubt about it, then you should stop and take a breath. <sighs> so what's on your mind? You can let it all out with me. You don't really want to leave the army, do you? Just you and me here, don't worry. I won't laugh. I swear on it. <laughs> I know I'm right. Come on. <sighs> this is gonna take a while. Interviews. Mm -hmm. In three days, I'll have to run interviews by myself. To do that, I have to prepare. I need to be energetic. I have to muster the energy to be imposing and able to talk. I shall be interviewing agents and spies, both of which are people who have to be good at talking. See the issue? Mm. <laughs> it's gotta be because you're not a big talker, right? Mm. Oh, 
W weren't you a guildmaster before this? I let other people handle all the talking back then. It's the same with the demon army. I getcha, I getcha. Funny considering I sent all those people packing to the demon world. To be honest, I thought I'd learned something by taking a trip. So I wanted to leave and visit a lot of villages. But now that you're here, I don't need to. No more trip. Huh? Uh. Leo, you will teach me how to converse. Turn me into a master communicator in the next three days. Uh, help you do what? <sighs> it comes down to communication skills. It's one of the most important skills to have when you're working with a team. That's for sure. I know your problem. You weren't sure how to train yourself to talk to people, right? Wait, did you ask for help yet? I'm asking now, aren't I? I mean before me! Did you ask anyone else? What do you want me to say? I'm at a loss of words here. Everyone's so busy with their work, I didn't want to bother them. So I didn't. So you leave that cryptic letter? I don't get the thought process behind that one. <sighs> Whatever. Oh. <sighs> All right, fine then. Three days, okay? <sighs> that was the extent of our conversation. For the time being, Marinus should not leave on any surprise journeys. I see. That's excellent work. Thank you. We are in your debt, Lord Onyx. Oh, good job, La... Uh, <laughs> Poor guy. I didn't know Marinus was so troubled. <laughs> mm. Care to elaborate, Your Highness? Oh, sorry. The fact that Marinus is troubled is extremely worrying to me, clearly. Yet despite that, he still tried his best to help the army rebuild, and that is so admirable of him, you know? I agree. That Marinus is such a weirdo, ain't he? Mm. You likely don't know this yet, but my four generals also double up as my personal consultants as well. I would listen to their thoughts, and Marinez's view on humanity often clashed with mine. I didn't know that. I have lost, so just get this over with already. If you don't kill me, then someday I will exterminate humanity. I did realize he was a little off before I came to the Demon Army. How did things fare with General Edvard? About that. We rushed down to the training grounds, but when we got there... Oh, crap. That fool man truly was trying to take his own life. He should have known regular blades couldn't pierce his draconic scales. Who knows what would have happened if he'd tried poison instead? His stalwart dedication to warrior ideals saved him. If I recall, the reason he wrote in his letter was his failure to train his troops, yes? Yes, he kept proclaiming he was a worthless general. But we haven't heard the full story yet. Julietta is keeping an eye on him. His beloved daughter is his only weakness. With her there, I have no worries. <sighs> when he settles down, I really hope he'll open up about his reasons. Understood. After I resolve Marinus's situation, I'll come assist. You'd do that? Thank you, Onyx. About the wait! Table aids, orders up! Dwarven mushroom sautés are ready! Thanks a lot! Thanks. We appreciate your patience. Thanks. Great stuff! The upgraded food quality was your doing too, wasn't it? Thanks to your help, we're busier than ever now! Got some more recipes too. I promise to teach you guys a few extra at a later date. I can't wait to try them out. And now you've brought us little Marini, and she's just so cute. She's so quiet, I think the cat's got her tongue. You hear that, Marini? <laughs> There's something wrong. I Here, think. one goblet salad for table ten. Wonderful. Can you take it out, Marini? <sighs> sure. I've got one fresh goblin salad, just like you fellas ordered. Please enjoy. Leo. What's up? I believe I requested that you turn me into a master communicator, did I not? You sure did. This is wrong. You want better people skills, yeah? This is perfect. I don't get why we're working in the mess hall. And why am I dressed like this? You gotta see things from your underling's point of view. Do you really think these guys could sit back and enjoy their meals when their waiter is their general? I needed to disguise you. Okay, where's yours? You look like the hero. These guys won't remember what I look like. Just trust me. You, on the other hand... 
Everyone knows you. So why didn't I get the same uniform? Because the one you're wearing was the only one they had in your size. You're dainty anyway, so it looks good on you. So... A communication lesson? Come on now, we've already been over this. Service positions teach you all the basics you need to know on communication. All right for table 34! One grilled rabbit! I'm coming! Come on, follow me. Sure. <laughs> Chin up, Marity. You're gonna scare off our customers with that look. Show me a big smile. <laughs> That's even scarier. Ease up a little bit. You're not an assassin, kiddo. <laughs> Facial expression is a big part of being a good server. Why bother teaching me the basics? I don't think I have the talent for communication in the first place. Keep that in mind with me. No need to get smug. Communication isn't about talent. I was terrible at it myself back in the day. I used to embarrass myself. You're lying. It's the honest truth. You have no idea how many people I've talked to or about the many times I've failed in the past. But that's exactly what communication is made of. Practice and experience. And the mess hall's the best place in the castle for you to get that under your belt. Do enough of it and you'll be a master in no time. Whatever. Ow! <sighs> you should start by not responding with whatever all the time. Order for table two! Twelve bowls of hot noodle soup! Remember this, Marnie. Conversation's a group effort, period. First they throw you some words, and then you catch them, and throw them back. That's the key. Be more specific. That's incredibly vague. You want them to know you're listening, and that their words aren't just simply bouncing off of you. Imagine yourself in their shoes and hear them out. Hmm. For example, picture yourself eating these noodles with your friends. Delicious! I must agree, they're amazing! It's so yummy! There are an infinite number of replies to the statement, this is delicious. Or, instead, you could agree with the statement. Indeed, indeed! They're incredible! You could also emphatically disagree, if you want to. Honestly, I'm not a fan of them either. You could say you'd rather have steak instead. I want to eat some meat too! But it's complicated. The right way to answer is to piece together how the other person feels. Like, what are they trying to say? And what kind of emotion are they expressing to you? And whether it's a work conversation, or just friendly chit-chat, empathy is key. Try to see it from their point of view, and figure out what they would like to talk about, or what excites them. Now that's interesting. The Guild says the first thing to get rid of is empathy. Thanks a lot, Guild. Can you teach me? Any secret speaking skills? Let me think a sec. Techniques, huh? I suppose it's not exactly reasonable to expect an assassin trained from birth to have any empathy. I got one. Secret technique number one. It's simple. Shut up and listen. That's all. Give me a real one. Ow! What the hell was that for? What kind of talk would that be anyway? I'm being serious here. The saying goes, a good communicator is a good listener. I already stay quiet all the time. Because you just want the conversation to be over. <sighs> Like I said before, conversation is a group activity. Listening intently to what the other person is saying is how it thrives. That's what I did the first time I tried to have a one-on-one -on -one human conversation. What do you mean by human? It'll make sense soon enough for you. Just wait until people realize you're a good listener. You'll become so popular, they'll come to ask to vent or get advice from you. You think so? Uh-huh. It always feels good to get stuff off your chest, doesn't it? Complaints about work, relationships, anything on their mind. You said you're going to be interviewing people, didn't you? Then you should focus on listening instead of talking. It's all going to work out. I promise you. See their point of view. And listen, too. Hey, waitress! Can I order? Coming. One moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Did you get lost along the way? We've been calling for your ass forever! We're the howlers of the moonlit night. You don't want to end up on our shit list. Oh, the new mercenaries. Edvard is supposed to make sure they stay in line, but yeah, he's not doing that right now. Whoa, would you look at that? Lucky us! Our slowest and waitress is actually kind of cute, boys! Your order? Beer and meat! And all the double! We're starving! I'll need some more information of that. We have a variety of ales and meats. You hear that? She says there's a variety! Let's hear it then! Tell us about your meats! <laughs> Man, what a total bimbo! Well, go on! Might I suggest the meat stuffed red pepper? It pairs well with ale. I think I'm more in the mood for a pretty girl. 
So what you doing tonight, sweetheart? I'd be more than happy to show you a good time, baby! That is not a service we provide here in the mess hall. Don't be like that! I've made succubi cry out in pleasure! You know what I'm saying, sweet potato pie? <laughs> Around and doing nothing for us. She needs your help. If you won't do anything, then I will. She'll be just fine. Don't worry. Catch <laughs> me again and I'll break your arm. Let me go. It hurts. It hurts. You always stop your whining. If I bend it just a little more, though, I will. Get off him, you bitch! What the hell did you do to the boss? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go. <laughs> Tell me, I'm waiting. No, ma'am! We're so sorry! Is that General Mayoness over there? What would he be doing down here, huh? Did you see that? I can't believe it. She's as tough as General Mayoness. Might want to teach him how to disguise himself better. I'm tired. Good job today. Not too bad for your first day of work. You kicked ass, and not just those werewolves. All I did was hurt them a little. That's exactly how you deal with chumps like that. However, you also gave them a suggestion for what to order, right? Did I do an alright job? Yeah, that was perfect. You did way better than I expected. You think so? I shouldn't be surprised. Just like Lily's leadership skills. He had the basics down, but never had the opportunity to hone his skills. Nothing more than that. So, now what? We'll wrap up the lesson. Get changed and meet me in my room. Cool. Sit over there. What are we doing now? There's this old saying that goes, practice makes perfect. So we're gonna pretend. Let's run a fake interview. Do you want me to run it? Just like it was a real one? That's the basic idea. And I'd say you learned a bunch today. So your skills are already on the up and up. Let's try it. You should start by asking me anything you want, okay? Anything? That's what I said. Use everything I taught you and apply it. Okay, what's he gonna ask? Something about my infiltration or spy skills? Or maybe something deeper, like the reason I want to join up with the army? Try to see it from their point of view, and figure out what they would like to talk about or what excites them. You'll become so popular, they'll come to ask the vent or get advice from you? Any question? That's right. I'll be totally honest. Wait, what was that look for? That's the kind of look an assassin gives you when he's found your weakness. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna regret saying that, aren't I? Okay, why join us? Uh, guess I shouldn't have worried. Your answer? Yeah? You said you wanted to join us to bring ruin to humanity, is that right? But that's a lie. Dubcast. Telling this story all of a sudden. I was supposed to be doing a mock interview with Marinus to train his communication skills, but now we somehow wound up here. Your answer? Yeah? You said you wanted to join us to bring ruin to humanity, right? But that's a lie. <sighs> I thought I'd eventually get this question from Shatina if it was anyone. Surprised it's coming from you. You specifically told me to see it from their point of view and try to figure out what they want to talk about. Uh, so that's why I'm putting myself in your shoes. But I realized something, though. You don't need us to help at all, actually. You could very easily destroy humanity on your own if you desire to. 
Wow, check you out. If you can already empathize on that kind of level, well, that makes you a master communicator, you know? Okay, let me go get you a certificate for that one. Let's see, where is it? Oh, here, I've got ten meal tickets for the rat restaurant. Congrats. Don't dodge the question. Uh. Why haven't you destroyed them yet? <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, bud. Why haven't I? Stop playing dumb! Careful with that. Uh. Be honest. Weren't you angry? You gave your all to protect them. And they threw you away without a second thought. You risked your life fighting us on their behalf. You never just wanted them dead? Because I sure did. <sighs> you must have looked into my past by now, haven't you? A little bit. I am aware that you happen to be half human, half demon. Humans were frightened of you. So your parents sold you into slavery, sadly. And after serving various masters, you ended up bought by the Assassin's Guild. That's right. The guild that I'd be expendable. They assumed I'd die taking out my first and only target. But for better or for worse, I was a good enough assassin to survive. All of you deserve to die. That's why I was supportive of the Demon Army's invasion. I desperately wanted them to finish off humanity. It would just be for the better. Your Highness! I have news! The castle gates have opened for us! Really? Okay. We shall take advantage of this! All troops, move in! I raced ahead of their forces and secretly gave them my assistance. However... Right? 
I'm tired. Hold on, you're leaving already? Uh -huh, but I was really looking forward to hanging out with you, though. Whatever. If it comes down to it, I'm not afraid to take out Echidna and lead the demon army myself to destroy humanity. After that, I became one of the great generals. And I half-heartedly helped lead them. Despite that, our brilliant forces had a successful campaign. Well, that is... Successful until someone came along. Do you mean me? What did I say? Remember? Ugh. I've lost, so just get it over with. If you don't kill me, then someday I'll exterminate humanity. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be a sore loser. You're acting like you've never seen anything cool in your entire life. <sighs> Go out and see the world a little, would you? What do you mean? Look, I've done that plenty already, and frankly, I'm rather bored of it. To me, this world sucks, and no matter what you say, nothing in it will ever be cool. That's because you've only experienced this bad boy as an assassin, you dummy. <sighs> Believe me, the world looks way more different when you're seeing it on your own terms, not just for work. As if it's that easy. Supposedly so, but it's not like I'd know that, though. What? In any case, here's my advice for you right now. Do yourself a favor, go out in the world, and seek out something that you've never seen before. Uh. If you still want to die after that, I'll kill you myself. Oh, and if you do something evil, I'll kill you anyway. So be good, okay? I'll see ya! You spouted off all those high and mighty words during that encounter. Why did you decide to up and quit? To destroy humanity? I now know for a fact that's a bold-faced lie. I don't care what happens to them. You, though. I do not hate mankind. Exactly. I can tell that you've got something else going on in there. I mean, why else would you have said all that stuff to me? I just don't get it. They betrayed you, and normally people get angry when that happens. You get sad, and you hate them. Passionately. Whoa. Man, I'm learning way too many new details about these guys now that I've joined their side. The prim and proper Shitina is a klutz who barely keeps herself afloat. The brainless wild child is a diligent good kid. And now we've got Marinus. He's the uncaring, unfeeling, tragic assassin who struggles with teenage angst. The reason he kept quiet after hearing my reasons for joining wasn't that he didn't like me, surprisingly. He heard how I'd been exiled by humanity and felt for me from the bottom of his heart. Hey, come on, don't cry on me. Now I feel like this is all my fault. Just shut up! Look, I won't say anything, so just tell me. Uh. All right, I'll spill it. I just got fed up. Getting told we don't need you and kill the hero made me feel pretty shitty, to be honest. So I removed myself. <sighs> Especially since I've been defending humanity for a long time. How long exactly? What? Let me tell you about the world from when I was born. It was a long, long time ago. What am I telling him this for? It was the height of industrial civilization. And even before magic came into common use. The land was shaped a bit differently than it is now. And where the capital currently stands, there stood the city called Tokyo. We launched rockets into the sea of stars, encircled the Earth with swarms of man-made satellites, and an invisible high-speed communication network connected the entire planet. There was a little tension between some nations, but mostly peace overall. And unlike our diverse world that you know, mine was made You're up of only humans. The then one day, they are <laughs> a hole suddenly opened up in the middle of the city. <laughs> that hole came imps, dwarves, orcs, goblins, succubi, and incubi. All manner of demons we are well acquainted with now. But back then, that wasn't the case. We only had a blanket term for them, and referred to them as demons. Just like Echidna, they were sick of the dark, horrific demon world, and came to the human world seeking its warmth and light away from the misery. Many tried to peacefully coexist alongside humanity, but others opted for violence. What was our world going to do? Fight back, of course. What had started on an eastern island nation spread around the world. 
and it wasn't long until there was a full-out world war on demon kind. And sadly, humans back then were as weak as they are now. It took dozens of humans just to get rid of one demon. Our weapons are too weak! We need an unstoppable weapon that can protect mankind from this demonic threat! Now is the time for humanity to join together as one! To kill a demon, we must create a demon ourselves. The project is nearly complete. We've used the demon's own power to forge 12 powerful weapons. Living beings with limitless potential to evolve, grow, and protect humanity. The Demon Heart series. As of now, only one demon heart survived. And that's me. So you're a living weapon. Huh. What the hell does that even mean? From the moment I was born, I was a hero. I knew no other way of life. My orders were planted at inception. Protect humanity. And of course, save the world. All heroes grow old and die. But I was made to be extremely durable and long-lived. The other DH series models fell in battle. One by one. Until at last. I was the only surviving hero. Actually, I'll put it this way. It sounds morbid, but I'd miss my chance to die. Even after the industrial world fell and magic replaced machinery, I still went on living my life. It happened so long ago, I can barely remember it. Whenever war erupted, I was always there to fight. At this point, I had grown too strong to ever die in battle. Protect humanity. Save the world. Those were my orders. But were they the right things to do? Was I just keeping humanity dependent on me? No one could answer those questions for me. Even so. But it's not like I'd know that, though. I couldn't just up and abandon my duty to protect the world. Uh. And then recently, the whole world pushed me aside, as you know. Sure, I was a little bit upset to hear it at first. But truthfully, I wasn't really all that sad. I was glad. It's what I wanted. Uh. But why is that? That's right. I was really happy, wasn't I? Yeah, I remember now. Those warm words of, we don't need you, and let's kill him, were the most meaningful words I'd ever heard at that time. It finally gave me that push I needed. A chance to quit heroing once and for all. A reason to walk away. I don't have to protect humanity. And do you know what's great? The next time they need protection, I can just do whatever. I can be myself. Go see the parts of the world I want to see, and on my own terms at that. Oh. You get it now? I get a second chance at life, thankfully. I'm doing what I always wanted to do. Join the demons. Hold on. I'm glad Echidna didn't leave and go back to the demon world. You do know about her father, Demon King Cycreus. I don't understand a single thing you've said to me so far. He wasted no time going home. Didn't even get a chance to I talk. I said, hold on! Uh, huh. Why did I tell him all that? The saying goes, it's a good simple. communicator is a good listener. It'll make sense soon enough for I you. just wanted someone to hear my story. Realize you're a good listener. You'll become so popular. They'll come to ask the Ben. It always feels good to get stuff off your chest. I assume some good listener out there would ask me about it someday. It's funny. Who could have guessed it would end up being you? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. According to the legend, the Demon King Cycreus invaded hundreds of years ago, so how can you- That's right. And according to legend, a mysterious sage saved the world. That would be me. <gasps> Just how old are you? No, wait, never mind that. What are you? Just a discarded ex-hero. I was originally built to be a bit tougher than the rest. And as for my age, I have no idea. To be honest, I stopped counting when I passed a thousand. No way. Man, though, you live this long, you do come across a lot of people. You will meet one person you want to protect with your life, then another you want to see drop dead so you never have to see him again. So believe me when I say this. You guys are a pretty good bunch of folks. Oh. Echidna and the Great Guardians might be goofballs, but you're all good people. 
In fact, good enough to make me want to work my butt off for you. Goofballs. <sighs> so don't you worry, okay? I'll get that Philosopher's Stone for you guys no matter the cost. I am going to make sure you all find happiness. You have my word on that. Uh, wow. I still don't get it. And you're not going to explain any further, are you? I'll eventually get around to it, okay? I mean, honestly, I didn't really plan on telling you any of this at all. So why did you spill your guts to me then? Uh, I'm not really sure. Because you look so serious, I guess? Oh. I felt this since that moment at the lake. He's not the best talker, but he's got the one thing that makes someone a good communicator. Leo, you will teach me how to converse. Strong motivation. That genuine desire to want to learn is the most important part of communicating well. You might be a really blunt and awkward person, but I saw it. I could pick up on that you really wanted to hear me out. Job well done. I couldn't stop myself from telling you everything. You just need to be genuine and thoughtful, just like you are now. You'll do great in your interviews. I know if anyone can, you'll be able to get the applicants to open up. <sighs> Don't touch me. I'm done and I'm tired. Good night. Hold on, you've got your own room. And we've got another long day in the cafeteria tomorrow. Good night. Hey, come on, Marinus. Don't pass out on me. Oh. Okay, fine. Have it your way. I hope you never change. It's pretty amusing. Just maybe. He might be able to mediate. so much, Julieta. Let's just calm down a bit and have some tea. It's a special blend from Radadola. Oh, my apologies. Okay. So to summarize what you've heard from General Edvard. Oh no, the soldiers I put through a hellish training regimen <laughs> were defeated by a mere Arc Chimera. What a pathetic lot! You're nothing but a bunch of weaklings! The responsibility for this massive failure lies in the man who trained you guys. Yours truly! And the only way to atone for raising such a pathetic army is to take my own life! Talk about your basic grade-A moron, huh? It's not like dying would help. Eh? Lord Leo. Oh, sorry. It's not like your old man croaking would make his troops any stronger, nor would it solve the existing problems it's suffering from either. Agreed. Thankfully, my father has abandoned the notion of suicide for now. Plus, our chimeras are among the strongest of their species. The men we hired after the last battle are mere foot soldiers. And besides, with their lack of experience, it's not their fault they fell. Right. I don't know if this is just Edvard being Edvard. But was there any reason he would make his newbies fight that thing? 
My father has very high expectations and assumes that everyone is just as strong as he is. <sighs> you understand, don't you? When he sees that his new soldiers are not able to defeat a monster, he presumes the worst and that they simply aren't trying hard enough. Not trying hard enough. Now that's an obnoxious phrase. And most of the time, it's being said by the skilled or powerful. They say they have their position by virtue of their own efforts. But that's hardly ever the case. A powerful fighter might have been born with a more muscular frame. An intelligent planner might have been put through a good school from an early age. They discount all the external factors that played a part in their success. Why does my father have a hard time comprehending this? His strength is a boon, yes. But it's hard for people to realize how unique and gifted they are. Because it came to them naturally, they expect it to be like that for everyone else when that's not true. That's how they delude themselves. A very good point. It's easy for guys like him to assume everyone's on his level. The issue we're seeing here is that good warriors do not always make good teachers. When people want to train others to be strong like them, what do they do? They ask themselves what they did to get where they are. Then have their trainees do just that. If it's too tough for them, a good trainer will make it easier, or even change things up for them. However, the skilled and powerful can't do that. They can't relate. They think the reason their trainees fail is because they're not trying hard enough. And let us not forget that Edvard's a very hard worker himself. That may be part of the reason why he's assuming it's all effort-based. Agreed. After he fought you, Lord Leo. Oh, forgive me. Should I address you as Lord Onyx instead? It's fine. No one's here. Please. After he fought you, Lord Leo, he cursed his lack of training. So he buckled down and increased his daily efforts by double. <laughs> This probably sounds obvious, but you really do respect him, don't you? I do. I've always looked up to him and wanted to be just like him ever since I was a little girl. Sadly, uh, his stoic, stubborn nature is working against him now. His cruel and hellish training is making all of his troops pass out from exhaustion. I'm really surprised they're putting up with it and not just running away. His men are just as serious about the cause as he is. So they push themselves to their limits just to blindly follow my father's every order. What should I do? Frankly, I'm at a loss here. You can leave this one to me. <gasps> I'll handle it for you. Lord Leo! He's a living weapon created to defeat demons? Is that really the case? I truly cannot say for certain, but that's what he told me. One thing, though. He lied when he said he joined us to destroy humanity. He has other reasons. I can't imagine why he would join us, if that's true. I hope it's not sabotage. If he wanted to destroy the demon army, then he needn't take such a roundabout method. He actually told me he wanted to assist us, though I don't know the reason why. I know, it's simple! Huh? He sees we're in trouble and wants to help us because he's a good guy! I don't think that's exactly why. He wants to help because he's a good person! I know, I can tell by looking! What? Talk about naive. Huh? Do you not believe me? I will admit that man has helped every single one of us sitting here in one way or another. And this goes without saying, but if we catch him doing anything suspicious, we'll report him to Queen Echidna. As for now, I think we should put our trust in him. And we all should also keep a close eye on his actions, okay? Oh, heck yeah! I suppose. <laughs> I said I'd handle it, but how am I gonna do that? Talking it out with him certainly won't have much of an effect. So there's gotta be a more direct method. There was that thing in Lily's report. It's big, it's white, and it's super strong! That is it! Pardon me, Lord Onyx? Are you here? The Demon Queen is summoning you. Oh. He... he quit? <laughs> is that true, Your Highness? Yeah. General Edvard told me himself, unfortunately. He declared that he was no longer fit to lead troops as a general. So then, he's left the army? Actually, he hasn't. He's apparently returned to being a common foot soldier. He thinks that it'll help him train with his underlings. Come, my superiors. The time is now. Let us hunt and defeat powerful beasts to train ourselves upon. Let's go! That hasn't solved anything. That's only made the problem worse. I begged the general to please reconsider his decision, but he refuses to back down on this one. I would be interested in hearing your opinion on this. What do you suppose is his... Uh, oh, goodness. My apologies. I mustn't rely on you so. It's unbecoming of me. I shall find the solution myself. Forgive me, your highness. But might I make a proposal? Would you allow me to handle this situation involving General Edvard? Uh, I couldn't. I will see this resolved. Very well, then. 
see that it's taken care of. At once. I have some preparations to make, so I will take my leave. Before you go, Onyx, hmm? when this situation is all resolved, there is something pressing that I must discuss with you. Of course, Your Highness. Ta-da! Here it is, Leo! Wait, this is the plan you were telling me about? Uh-huh. This bad boy dates all the way back to the Machine Age. It's gonna be far more powerful than any S-rank Chimera. A Machine Golem. That's what it's called? And this one is from the late end of the Machine Age, codenamed Phantom Nine. These things were originally built specifically to combat the high-ranking demons that humankind struggled with, so they pack a punch. And we're gonna make use of it. I've gathered you here not for a training exercise, but instead to make an important announcement today. As of this day forward, I step down as general and become a foot soldier. That's not all. Julieta shall be assuming the role of your general henceforth. Oh, Edvard, my sweet summer child. If you think this harsh world of ours would let you quit that easily, you've got another thing coming. I'm going to teach you that lesson here and now. Huh? Hang on, what is this? Attack at once! I instill your general for the day! You will obey my orders! As you say! Alright guys, don't get too close now. You really shouldn't be fighting this thing. What the hell are you doing? How dare you call yourself soldiers when you are retreating from the enemy like wimps! Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but our weapons do nothing! If you can't strike it, then you deal with it by drawing its attention or confusing it! If you have time to complain, you have time to fight! <sighs> What's wrong? It stopped. Oh no, did all that time underground break its components? If it doesn't work, then my plans will be for nothing. Crap, that's bad! <laughs> Reflection ray! <laughs> that was close. What kind of firepower is this thing packing? It melted its own armor. The damn thing's safety restrictions are all out of whack. <laughs> I'm a hero. I must make sure no one gets hurt. What is that thing? This out for Edvard to fight. But should I take care of it instead? <laughs> the big doll wants to play, huh? Very well. Then I'll smash it to pieces! Stop, you moron! Back off! <laughs> what the hell? You're fighting an ancient laser weapon! What? That thing's gonna see right through your dragon scales if you aren't careful! Lord Leo! Listen up, Edvard, and listen closely. I'm going to help you defeat it. Follow my lead if you want to live! <laughs> When its eyes glow, three seconds later, it will shoot off a laser beam. Focus your defensive spells on your scales and deflect it. Wait, one more time? That was a whole lot to take in all at once. <laughs> what did I just tell you? <laughs> Look, it just employed its left fiber blade. Whatever you do, don't take a direct hit from that thing. You gotta keep in mind that the blade is weak, so hit it from the side in order to destroy it. Fiber what? I don't know what that word is! Face such a foe before as this. This may be common knowledge to you, Lord Leo, but it is unfamiliar to me. That sword will kill you, so attack it from the side. Understood. Good. Perfect. He acknowledged the whole common knowledge to you, but not to me thing. That's exactly the words I wanted to hear. Now. Father, let me join you. Juliana. Don't get in the way. Leave this to Lord Leo and I, lest you do yourself harm. Please, listen to me, Father. Don't be stubborn, girl. This is my fight. <laughs> Fall back before you get seriously injured. It's weak points the right side of the torso. <laughs> According to our documents, that's where it's, it's a thingy. The uh, wires are. They're connected to the, the main part, the generator thing, or whatever it's called. Attack there. Do it, Edvard. <laughs> Juliet is right. The right torso is where it's most full. Go in and strike!
of you. Julieta, Lord Leo, you have my deepest thanks. Well done. He's done a good job so far. All that's left is to tie things up. <laughs> Did it just... I knew it! That thing called for backup! Damn it. One was tough enough to deal with on its own, but now three? It's no use. I'm going to have to fight them. My plan was going so well, too. But I've got no choice. I gotta step up. Fret not! Oh. Oh. Sir go prepare a defensive barrier to protect the miners at once! As you wish. Mayorness, you are to evacuate the civilians! Understood. And Lily, make sure there aren't any other machine gunlifts active in the area, okay? You can count on me. What are they doing here? I see. So Onyx had a plan. Yep, I told you he was good. Your Highness, where are you going? He said he'd handle it. However, when the unexpected occurs, even the best and brightest need help. And just like you all, General Edvard is one of my dear underlings. He's helped me time and time again. If I didn't help him in his hour of need, what kind of demon queen would I be, huh? Let's go, Your Highness. <laughs> you do not have to worry about us, Onyx. We will handle things here. You go ahead and focus on what's in front of you. I cannot. All right, sounds like a plan. Stand down, you dolls of wood and metal. Do you even know who I am? I stand above all demon kind, their supreme ruler. I'm demon queen Echidna. Now suffer and burn in the pits of purgatory. Inferno! Lord Leo, you have my undying gratitude. Huh. I didn't realize that the Dragon General wasn't capable of pulling his own weight in combat. Hey! I, uh... Honestly, though, how does a great general not know about laser weapons or vibroblades either, huh? Everyone knows about those. I mean, this is level one combat knowledge. Everyone knows about it? <sighs> Surely this must be a lie, though. Wrong! I'm entirely serious. It's the basics of the basics. You must be slacking off if you didn't know that. How can you call yourself the Dragon General when you can't take out a simple machine golem? I... <clears throat> Does this sound familiar? Because I'm pretty sure it's the exact thing you told your troops before. <sighs> What happened here? How can an entire battalion be bested by one chimera, huh? It's impossible, sir. We've never fought one of these beasts before. No excuse! When I was your age, I trained by fighting death matches with these creatures on the daily. Stop making poor excuses for your lack of effort. It's just a pathetic display. But, General... The back legs are weak. Slice the heels to immobilize these monsters, then smash the head. Everyone knows that. None of you fools are trying hard enough. Uh, 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 uh. You'd be way better off quitting. Maybe pick up something easy, like fishing. Lord Leo? Huh? Stop belittling my father this instant. I implore you. Julieta, I... You mustn't assume that your expertise is common knowledge for everyone. You have years of experience and are more familiar. Plus, we have never fought a machine golem. Oh, come on. Don't make up pathetic excuses. You think you can just laze around because you've never fought one of these things before. Any outsider could see it's a lack of effort. If you guys just applied yourselves, this would be easy. Enough. Anyone would have trouble with a task they've never done before. How would you know how to handle a foe you've never encountered? It's quite all right to fail. <gasps> This is nonsense. It's wrong for you to assume others can easily do what you can. You are a terrible leader. Have you ever trained someone? You need to start with the basics. Then you're supposed to slowly work your way up as they get it. Is that not important when you're preparing someone for battle? <sighs> yes, I get it. Deeply sorry. I realize I shouldn't have said you weren't trying hard enough. The one who needed to put in more effort was me alone. I failed you as a leader. Forgive me. I apologize. Don't hang your head like that, sir. Mm. You're far more inspiring when you're able to hold your head up high, sir. I must also agree. We all joined the army because we admired your strength. We still look up to you! 
Please, General. Hang in there for us. We still want you around to lead us. What if we promise to keep on working hard? I can't imagine anyone else training us. I am really touched. <sighs> All right. If you promise to be patient with me, I still have a ways to go. Yes, sir. A good warrior doesn't always make a good boss. But when they've learned how to teach others with understanding, a good warrior can be a truly great boss. I could not have done this without the others. My! You can still move after that attack? Then how about some of this? Explode! How about a fireball? Classicate it! No hellfire! And a meteor swarm! Go! <laughs> Queen Akinda, that is enough! They were already defeated! I think she needs to blow off some steam anyway. Just let her be. You know, Marinez, you've changed lately. I've noticed a big difference. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Come in. Sorry for intruding. Today's meeting will go as planned. Sounds good. Queen Echidna is expected to promote you to a leadership role with us. I didn't think we'd be here already. I've one matter to discuss before the meeting. Oh? Mernus told us all about you and your past. Did you really lie to us about your reasoning for joining our side? I'll discuss that today. I'll tell you everything. But trust me, I have no intentions of betraying you. I believe you. Don't reveal who you are, at least until I say it's okay. We must tread carefully with the reveal, otherwise Queen Echidna may not forgive the subterfuge, all right? And we certainly don't want that. Wait for my signal. It has to be when the time is right. Understood? Loud and clear. Oh, what's that? Oh, I felt like killing some time. Abrad, the joiner of hands. Did you know Queen Echidna often read that tome? Leo? Yeah? Do you think we will be able to possess the Philosopher's Stone one day? Truthfully, it won't be easy. But we'll make it work somehow. With my help, of course. <laughs> when the preparations are complete, I will send you a messenger. Got it. Well, until then... Sheesh. This illustration doesn't come close to capturing his likeness at all. Like that! It sounds like you're making us out to be the bad guys. Our intention was never to attack humanity, you know. <laughs> oh, come on. Now, I can't speak for the others, but us imps wanted to be as professional as possible about this. You guys might not know this, but the demon world's full of war. And frankly, we are sick of being around it. Why did you come then? The Demon King accidentally opened a great spirit portal. That's the hole that connects your world to our world. It was open, so we came to take a look. Sorry, we always heard this place was nicer than the Demon World. So you only want to immigrate here then? That's the gist of it. As well as being curious about this place. And why is that? It actually ain't all that easy getting to the human world from the Demon World. You need tons of catalysts and mana to even get close. Get those together and you might hold a portal open long enough. Very few of us had ever seen the human world before all this. Wouldn't you want to see it for yourself? Good. They're not gonna try to kill me while they're listening to me talk. I just gotta keep them occupied long enough. And then what happened next? I took a look around. This place is pretty interesting. But the best part is all the peace here. Which just so happened to end upon your arrival. Hey, I wanted to get along with you guys, remember? I've had enough of living in the demon world and it's endless fighting. Do your leaders not resolve disputes for your people? That Belial's the shittiest of kings. He truly thinks that everything can be settled with violence. Belial? He's the ruler of the demon world. His Majesty King Belial. That name is present in human records as well. Probably. I bet you that it was from back in the day. One of our nobles more than likely popped over to your world. That's probably the reason Belial's name is recorded in your books. That it makes sense. Crap. It totally sounded bored. I gotta keep this conversation going. And that sword's so loud, it's scary as hell. Hey, uh, I'm not boring you, am I? No, I appreciate the info. Sincerely, thank you, sir. Damn it. I have no idea what this guy's thinking. I gotta do something for undead meat. Please stand up. Wait, hold on. I'm not done talking yet. Come, let's take a walk. <laughs> Where are we going?
So tell me, why did Belial open the Great Spirit Portal anyway? Oh, about that. We honestly weren't even thinking about invasion when we first saw it open up. All the Demon World's wars are fought over the limited resources it has to offer. Then Belial opened a portal to an uninhabited island in the human world. And we started talking about moving over. <gasps> Yet the portal was opened in the center of Tokyo. Yeah, that surprised me too. And thanks to those instinct-driven types like ogres and ghouls attacking humans, we had a war on our hands almost immediately. That's why we freaked out and tried to leave. Huh? Whoa! Why is it closing up? <laughs> it really sucked. The only capable beings of closing the Great Spirit Portal were high-tier demons or King Belial himself. Their plan from the start was to leave us to die in the human world, the bastards. Is there a possibility that Belial and these higher-tier demons will try to colonize our world? Oh, totally. Don't take this personally, but you humans are a lot weaker than us demon folk. It's safe to assume there were probably some spies who crossed over with us and then snuck back into the demon world before the portal closed up. I bet they're even telling Belial all about you guys right about now. Crap like, now's the time to assemble your forces and take the human world for your own! I mean, you've gotta know how much more power we've got over you guys, right? Of course. Engaging a single devil requires a minimum of a three-man cell. Oh man, if I'm being honest, it feels really weird being called a devil by you. Those guys make up the ruling class of the demon world. It really doesn't matter. They're way more powerful than the rest of us folks. And boy, do those jerks use it to their advantage. High-tier demons look down on us. They basically treat the lower demons like we're the gum on their shoe. Now do you get why we're so eager to get over here? I cannot empathize, but I can understand. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Wait a sec. You are a man, right? In truth, I do not have a gender. However, I was designed to be masculine in appearance. Designed? Anyway, all I can do is wait till someone kills me. Boy, did I really mess this up big time. Oh, go in the hole! The sun's warm and bright, and it's lush and green there! Yeah, right. Everywhere I go, it's one giant gray tombstone after another. Those high-tier devils can kiss my ass! They should be the ones getting killed! What a load of crap! I'm done! Just finish me off already! Thank you for the information. <laughs> You're not gonna kill me? You provided valuable information. In exchange, I shall personally escort you to the containment squadron rendezvous point. <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. I'm just thinking about how different you are from the others. Come to think of it, he was acting weird from the start. A monster that's neither human nor demon. What the hell is he? You seem to be a rather understanding devil with a level head on you. You'll be put in the Shinjuku Protection Ward. You'll be safe there. Yeah, so I'd rather get back to the demon world if that's at all possible. We have nearly reached the containment squadron rendezvous point. Oh, all right. Okay. Guess that's much more preferable than getting killed. Sheesh, the silence is super nerve-wracking. It's fine. Just stay quiet. You're going to live. Don't mess that up by saying something. Am I sure about that, though? Who knows if this monster will decide to kill me after all? Oh, the silence is killing me! Gotta take my mind off it. Oh, right! So, buddy, uh, what's your name? You got a name? Huh? Wait, really? Do you have one? That took me by surprise. You're actually the first devil to ask me for my name. <laughs> Did he just smile? Sorry, is this weird? Mostly everyone has one. They get a name when they're born, usually. And they're a treasure that each person possesses. That's what my father taught me, at least. Your father sounds wise. I mean, look at it this way. Telling someone else your name is leaving proof that you were born. As long as someone remembers your name, then you will never be truly dead, even when you're gone. That's your proof you were alive. Now, do you follow my logic? That's how important sharing your name is. You gotta leave your mark on the world. You follow me? That does not compute. 
<laughs> All right, forget it then. Don't know why I started talking about this anyways. Seems like I got him to feel some sort of connection with me at least. And he seems happy that I asked for his name. If that gets him to smile, then he's not as different from me as I thought. I'll take it. What is it? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just saying that sharing your name's important. Sorry for the tangent. My name's Abrad, by the way. Nice to meet you. Proud member of the Imps of the Dark Valley. Very well, then. Thank you. And as for me, I am an anti-devil self-development bioweapon. Demon Heart Series number 05. Specifically, DH-05. Leo. Call me Leo. Out of nowhere, devils appeared in Tokyo. There were 12 bioweapons produced in order to defeat them. Unstoppable weapons designed to imitate and eradicate devil kind. The Demon Heart series. That's where I come in. I was one of them. We all possessed power that surpassed our invaders and also had unyielding loyalty. Together we are humanity's fortress, their blade, and their shield. So if I'm following, the only thing you were made to do was protect humanity? Crazy. Correct. Our purpose is to fight devils and to ensure the people of this planet are safe, too. <sighs> Man, not gonna lie, that's kinda sad. Do you think so? I feel no exhaustion from my duties. Even if I did experience it, protecting humanity is too important for me to rest. That's not what I meant. Uh. What a strange creature this is. He is a small devil, an imp. Imps are intelligent and many can speak and understand human language. After hearing reports that an imp was preaching coexistence in the Rapongi area, I immediately headed straight to the scene, found him, and took him into custody. As reports suggested, he was quite friendly, and I obtained plenty of useful intel from him. But amongst that information, he made some statements that were incomprehensible to me. A question, Imp. My name's Abrad, remember? Come on! Okay, Abrad. What do you mean by that's kinda sad? I don't understand. That is just what it is. It makes my heart hurt when I think about all the problems you're gonna face eventually. Don't think too hard about it. I do not understand your statement. Look, Leo, you said your only reason for existing is protecting humanity, right? Correct. So listen, what are you gonna do when the war's over, huh? Captain some royal guard or some shit? No, I may not ally myself with any one political entity or nation. I will remain on standby until another threat to humanity's existence presents itself. Yeah, yeah, I figured you'd say as much. Wanna sit and talk? I suppose so. There's time before the rendezvous. Your job is to protect humanity, huh? That only means it lasts as long as the war between us. And once that war is over, you won't have a job anymore. Isn't that right? That is correct. If there is no enemy, then the DH series will have no duties. And won't that just suck? It'll get boring. You're risking your life every day to win peace for the world, only to end up with no job and no place to belong. I believe peace to be a desirable outcome. For them, sure, but not you. Just think about it. What is the reason you exist? The reason I exist? When you were born, you had a reason for existing, clearly defined. But that reason's gonna be stripped away from you, and you'll have to live on anyway. I don't know. That's so cruel. Just horrible, if you ask me. Are you making a threat? Like hell I am! I'm worried about your well-being! A devil is concerned for me? Of course I am. That's so wrong. No. Please continue. <sighs> Listen up. I'm just a little worried for you is all. When the world's at peace, it'll be horrible for you. You'll start to wonder if the world even needs you anymore. And before you know it, that doubt will slowly open up a big hole in your heart. You said your kind is a die of old age, right? Correct. We are incapable of it. Well, just so you know, death can be a blessing. Whether or not someone lives a good or bad life, they'll all return to the Earth in the end. But you won't be able to. Even after I'm no longer needed to protect humanity and lose my purpose, I'll live on forever. Is that right? I will be whisked away from those wonderful times when I knew my identity. And I will be forced to move on eventually. Confused and aimless forever. That's what you mean, yes? <sighs> That's right. However, if another war breaks out, will I not have my purpose back once again? Yeah, probably. With you living forever, you'll end up saving the world forever. 
Getting back your purpose, then losing it again, over and over. You're never gonna be able to rest peacefully. Ever. That's what I meant, and that's why I said it's really sad. My circumstances could be as he described. I will grow, but on the day I earn my humanity. On the day that the war between human and devil kind is ended, I would be born to save the world. Yet there would be no place for me there. I would be born with the purpose of world peace, yet yearn for another cataclysm to come forth. There would be a day where I questioned my way of life, the irony of my very existence. If I did not die in this war before then, do not worry about me. Devil, no. Demon kind's war against humanity is intensifying. Huh? Unfortunately, I am the weakest of the DH series weapons that they have developed. The others are much stronger, so those units will likely defeat the demon army. But if they should fail, me earning my humanity is slim. I will probably die in battle. Wait, you're the weakest they come? At your power level? That's correct. That's why I've been building experience by fighting far from the front lines. <laughs> The humans sure outdid themselves this time with you guys. So hang on, let me get this straight. You don't need to worry about the future because you're just gonna die anyway? Yes, so you need not worry about me. I do not think I will suffer on the scale that you imagine. Well, all right then. As long as you're cool with it. Come on. Here's to hoping that's so. I'll be praying they kill you, buddy. Best of luck. I deeply appreciate it. You do realize I was being sarcastic. They've arrived. Huh? The containment squadron. Uh, so I'm not making it home after all, huh? Fine, fine, I'll just do it. I'll see my bones buried in the human world. Guess I'll just live my whole damn life here then. Live your whole life? Yep. I'll find a way for demons and humans to live in harmony. I'll just keep asking everyone to put down their arms and get along. It's not like I get a say in it anyway. Very well. If we are unable to send your people back to the demon world, we may need to consider coexistence ourselves. Promise me, you'll remember my name from now on. When I bridge the gap between our peoples, you better put up a statue of me and you. Swear to me that you'll do that. Now, I want to hear it from you. Now with this handoff, my work here is done. <clears throat> One thing, Leo. Hey, you listening? Don't work yourself to death. If it hurts too much to go on, then get yourself the hell out of here. If life gets tough, then just do what you want to do. I don't know dick about bioweapons, but prioritize you. Live your life the way you want. Of course. One more thing. Don't get too caught up in this born to protect humanity shit. The day that humanity stops needing you, then that's gonna be your chance to split. You take care, okay? Find something else to live for. Anything. Go out and enjoy your life. I will. Leo! I'll always remember your name. Don't you dare forget mine. You got that? had so much to say, but I didn't understand his words until the end, although I always kept them in my memory. If on the small chance that life became too painful to live, I would do exactly as I wished. I would forget about protecting humanity, and get myself the hell elsewhere. Very well then. Thanks, Abrad. It was June 2060. A cold rain fell on the streets of Tokyo. I understand now, Abrad, eh, my wise friend. I'll use my life the way I want to. Now is the time. I trust these people. I'll reveal everything to them today. That my name isn't Onyx, but Leo. And I shall tell them the real reason I joined them. Black Knight Onyx. As of this day forth, I hereby decree that your temporary status is to be lifted, and you are to become the fifth member of the Great Generals.
Demon Queen Echidna. He is a newcomer, yes, but a steadfast supporter of our cause. And truthfully, I can think of no man better suited to extend a hand to humanity on our behalf. With him, our quest for the Philosopher's Stone may no longer be futile. Adding a fifth to our four great generals may pose some problems, but I'll discuss that with the others. I know I've made the right choice with him. Dire news, your highness! The Great Spare Portal is closing up! Uh. Do we know why? No, ma'am, we do not. But we've begun to run low on the crystal catalysts that keep it open. All help. Never did I think it would come to this. Especially not at the very moment where our future seems secured. This is a crisis situation! It's temporary, but thanks to the help of Shatina, Lord Onyx, and myself, the portal is stable for now. It won't last longer than seven days, perhaps less. Indeed. <coughs> Lily, please save the cookies for later. <coughs> that doesn't mean you should switch to an apple! A uh, question? What happens if the big spirit thingy closes up? We can't return to the demon world. Huh? We have to try and keep it open. We have no idea how long it will be before another is open to bring more troops through. <sighs> it could be centuries. Or even millennia. All more time during which the demon world will suffer. <sighs> That's why it's necessary that we decide upon our army's next plans within these seven days. So Shatina, please share your opinion. I believe we have two choices. The first one being, we all leave here before the portal closes. A retreat to the demon world, then. Our current army consists mostly of denizens of the human realm. I'm sure you know where this is going, but we cannot bring them with us. So we will need to disband our army. We'd have to go our separate ways, too. I don't want us to break up! Not when we've become such good friends with each other! So retreat's option one. Fine. What's option two? I'm getting to that. The second choice is to immediately mobilize our army, attack Renai, and take the Philosopher's Stone ourselves. That seems out of the question. I would say so. As would I. Our current forces are far weaker than they were during our last campaign. Bringing them into battle would only cause foolhardy bloodshed. Especially knowing that the humans still have their greatest ally, Leo Demonheart. How do we get rid of him? Lord Onyx, have you ever fought against the hero Leo before? No, but I have heard stories. I fought against him one-on-one -on -one with all of my might, and unfortunately, I was still defeated. I know firsthand. He is a ruthless monster. If we engaged him as we are, he would wipe out every last one of our troops. Obtaining the Philosopher's Stone would be the least of our concerns. I left the demon world knowing this. I don't fear death and may die here. But I am not willing to lead others to that very same fate. Ugh. My decision is made. The army's to be disbanded, and we will retreat to the demon world. As the demon world's leader, I have a responsibility. Shutina and I must return. She is my second in command. However, without the Philosopher's Stone, it will inevitably lead to conflict over the throne. They all seem at a loss for words. I understand. H hey, Echidna! I know you're worried about him, but he's not- <gasps> Will you just tell her already? No, we shouldn't. Look, I know already. Don't say anything, Shutina. We may be 300 years apart in age, but we've known each other for a long time. You know more than anyone else the amount of faith and hope I've put into the quest for the Philosopher's Stone. Quiet! Now's not the time, Lily. I know this decision weighs heavily upon me. Uh, it's nothing pressing. Thank you all for staying by my side. <gasps> as the ruler of the demon world, no, as the solitary demon Echidna, I thank you. This is unseemly of me. A queen should not show her subjects this much weakness. I must remain proud till the bitter end. We will need to start over to find a new method of saving our demon world. If I recall, your exact reasoning was you want to better the lives of your people. You told me this when we drank together, yes? Right. One cannot maintain order in a barren wasteland. I would use the stone to bring about warm sun, lush greenery, clean air and water. The very same beautiful resources with which the human world is blessed with. Since I was young, I've studied and trained for that plan. All to become the Demon Queen and travel to the human world. I held fast to those hopes and dreams, knowing the stone would grant my desires one day. Yet now, it ends in defeat right here. First, let me make one thing clear. 
The stone is not an all-powerful wish-granting device. Utilizing a micro black hole, it's an advanced engine from the mechanical age. It's used to produce almost unlimited energy. I cannot be sure it would grant your desires. Is that so? I'd imagine a detailed manual on its operation is hiding somewhere in the human world. I'm sure they must be looking for it too. But its antiquity has made it a rather tough object to find. If that's the case, then that's all the more reason for us to seek peace with humanity. I wonder if we were to work together to find this manual of which you speak. No, that would be pointless. We'd have to steal the stone from them, and then our peace would end in war, no doubt. There's no other option. <laughs> Anyways, it's far too late for that, as much as it pains me to admit it. You needn't worry about that. As far as I know, there are two Philosopher's Stones in the human world. <laughs> is that true? Indeed it is. You need only one of them to accomplish your mission, isn't that correct? That leaves one for the human world, there and one for the demons. Stones? Would it not be ideal for creating possible? peace between the two realms? Will you cut the crap and look at me already? Huh? Where's Lord Onyx? Turn around! He's behind ya! Huh? The situation's too dire, so I had to ditch my disguise. Listen closely, Echidna. <laughs> My sincerest apologies for having to trick you, but it really was the only way. I wasn't entirely truthful about why I joined your army. It was really a test. I only wanted to see if you were actually worthy of the Philosopher's Stone's power. You know, if I had realized you weren't deserving, I would have left right then and there. When we spoke over dinner and wine, I have to admit I was convinced you were. Wait! What wine? The last drink I had was when I bared my soul to Lord Onyx. He was just here. Where has he gone off to? I know that you have the ability and potential to bring order to the demon world. From the way I see it, if peace is brought to your world, then it means the demons will stop bothering humanity. So giving you the stone would be worth it. Wait. Has Lord Onyx been Leo this entire time? <laughs> processing this, but there's just no time. We really need to get a move on. The other Philosopher's Stone isn't located in Renai. You bastard! When I look back on that moment now, back then we were no more than the hero and the demon queen. Really, truly. And you aren't leading us into some terrible trap? Could you be any more skeptical? Come on, could you give me a little more credit? I mean, do you even realize how much help I've given your demon army? Oh, I'm well aware of how much you've helped us, you blathering imbecile! Imbecile? After I so nicely explained it all, you ungrateful moron! Come on, Echidna, don't you have any other moves? You pulled the same thing when I came for my interview. Shut up and drop dead. Give me a break already. What other choice did I have? You do realize this was the only way I could do this, right? I had to join up under a false name and earn my way in. You wouldn't have let me join otherwise. Never in a thousand years would I ever let you join us! Now go eat some poison mushrooms, suffer for three days, then die a run death! Ugh. How did I never realize it was you? I know now there were countless instances where I should have known better! Damn it all to hell! I'm so stupid! I will bear this shame for the rest of my life! Yeah, I'm sorry about that. And what infuriates me most of all is how you are right as rain mere seconds after I hit you point blank with Inferno! Calm down, Echidna! Leo has been of great service to the Demon Army. Won't you allow him to join? I do owe him a great deal. He would make an excellent ally. Besides, Echidna, Leo gave me lots of advice and helped make logistics so much easier. I'd be lost without him. And you Not know what else? else? But he greatly reduced my overtime hours. And another thing, Echidna, I feel the dining hall could definitely pay the staff a lot more. My daughter, Juliet, is deeply grateful to him, too. Uh, it's awesome! When we all work together, work gets done super fast. Isn't that cool? I beg of you, please show him mercy. Yeah, he's kind of an ass, but I don't see why not. Fine! All right, all right! That's more than enough out of all of you! I give in. I hereby pardon you for your deception as Lord Onyx there. Are you happy? I thank you. <sighs> All right, now that that's aside, were you serious that there's another Philosopher's Stone out there? Indeed there is. 
It's just over there, in the Seshat Mountains. Seriously? That's extremely close to here! Yeah, but it's protected by a pretty powerful guardian. Shouldn't be a problem, though. If Leo is describing it as powerful, then how fearsome must it be? This sounds too good to be true. This will be easy peasy if we all work together! We'll be happy to join you. Uh, very well. I would much rather prefer not to be left alone with this insolent fool, after all. All right. Let us go to the Seishan Mountains. <laughs> so cold! I'm freezing! Are we there yet? Poor Lily is from the much warmer south. Same with you, right, Edward? I'm doing fine, though. My scales do an excellent job staving off the cold. Hmm, whatever. So where's the stone, anyway? Hmm. Just up a little further, at the peak of that mountain. This is I'm in north I'm gonna one. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Bunches, Shutina. You're quite welcome. You know, you do well to study some magic yourself, Lily. Jackass. Why did you teleport us partway anyway? Why must we walk, huh? Our time is precious, you know. I wanted some time to talk with you. What is there left to discuss? About passing the torch? What else? The Philosopher's Stone's been my big project for ages, and it'll be yours soon. So wouldn't you agree that it would be a good idea to hear more about it from the person you're replacing? Oh. Very well. What wisdom do you have to share with me about the stone, O oh, wise one? You remember what I said before? The stone isn't some kind of magic item that you can use to grant your wishes with. You do understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm not so foolish as to expect that planting it in the ground would cause green fields to sprout overnight. Nor would it turn water to wine. Or anything useful or fanciful like that. That's exactly right. What you'll need to do is, once you get the stone, make peace with humanity and search for the manual. Remember, there is a copy of the Akashic Engine Usage Manual hiding out there that you'll have to find. Without it, you won't know how to use the stone, so it's crucial. Peace with humanity, huh? Wow. Can you do it? To be completely frank, until a little while ago, I didn't think it was possible. You understand, yes? I thought there would be no way we could have stolen their most precious treasure than asked for peace and harmony, you know? But after speaking with Onyx, or rather you, well, my opinion changed completely. I know it's just a story. However, it's... It's more than that. Uh, it really happened. So don't you worry. I know humans and demons can live in harmony. Uh, but getting to that point is going to cost you a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So get ready for it. Oh, hero. How foolish of you to underestimate me. I'm the strongest ruler my world has known. I'm Demon Queen Echidna. Blood, sweat, or tears, throw it at me. I swear I shall endure it all to bring peace to fruition. Mark my words. Is that so? I'm glad to hear it. I feel better. Uh, that tone. He sounds so sad. Well, I hope you can defeat any mighty foe that stands in your way. Someone like me, for instance. Give me that swine! Hey, now you're cold! The kid that you have! Ha! Be thankful that was all I unleashed upon you, boy. Perhaps it was just my imagination. Payback time! Take this! Yeah! Damn you, no fair! <laughs> I was actually worried about them for a moment. But I'm glad they're getting along so well. That means we can be the five great generals instead! Wait, if we all work together, we'll be as strong as a hundred great generals! As long as everything keeps working out. Leo. Huh? There's something I've been wondering about. Why is it that you know so much about the mechanical civilization? That was roughly 3,000 years ago. If I am not mistaken, it's the same human civilization that King Belial invaded, was it not? Were you perhaps a scholar at one point before becoming a hero? A good guess, but no. However, I was born back in that time period. Interesting. So you come from the time of the mechanical age? Hang on! If that were truly the case, that would make him well over 3,000 years old. But how? Did he use some form of magic to extend his lifespan? No. Is this hero even human? What's going on? Humanity created living bioweapons called the Demon Heart series with hyper-reactive skill improvement. That's my specific focus. I'm the fifth in a series. May defend off Belial. Hyper-reactive what? Any abilities my opponents try to use against me, I can copy ad infinitum. I am the result of 3,000 years of hard-won experience. And the DH series weapons don't die from old age, either. We keep living on, which means that I keep on growing stronger. Huh. 
Thought you'd be more shocked. It all makes perfect sense. I see now. So if I understand correctly, you possess the strength of untold hundreds of thousands of soldiers throughout history. Yes, that's more or less the gist of it. Had I known how powerful you were, I would have found another route to the stone. How frustrating. I'd have never sent my troops in against someone like you. But despite what happened, we eventually found each other. Not so bad when you put it that way, yeah? Hm. One can never understand destiny, even fate as strange as this. After defeating me in combat, the hero inexplicably joins my army and takes me to the Philosopher's Stone. Who'd have guessed that outcome? And all the other DH series weapons died off eventually. I'm the only one left, luckily. Meaning you've lost all your brothers and sisters, then? My condolences. I appreciate it. We have a critical order in our cores. That being, we must protect humanity. So, at the end of the day, that bottom line is my sole identity. For thousands of years, I've fought hard to bring about peace. And when that eventually came, I've wished for more danger, more war to come. How foolish! And what would be the point in that exactly, huh? I can't imagine why you would not enjoy your hard-won peace. You have a point there. I guess I should enjoy it. However, I blame this troubling feeling on my skill development functionality, putting my orders and my feelings all out of whack. I'm starting to lose it. Sometimes I find myself thinking, am I just holding humanity back? Humanity can function just fine without a hero, can it not? Am I just doing this for myself? Am I forcing myself onto humanity? I don't believe that you are. Without you, I can confidently say the human world would most certainly be under my complete control. Well, this time you'll get that shot. But what about next time? <laughs> Who knows? One day humanity might be able to take down a Dina Queen on their own. When that day comes, I won't have a place to belong anymore. <clears throat> now, I don't mean to alarm you, but I believe I'm breaking down. And when that time comes and I'm too far gone, I'll bring chaos to the world. Just to give myself a reason to keep protecting it. I'll plunge the world into disaster, then inevitably pull it back out. Becoming nothing more than a machine that repetitively saves the world. I'm afraid I'd become worse than any demon army. Before that happens, you know what needs to be done, right, Echidna? Promise me. Leo, what are you even we saying? We made it! <laughs> what a splendid view. Nature is rewarding us for making it this far. I concur. Hmm, where's the Guardian? You're right, there's no one here. And there won't be one. Huh? Hmm? <clears throat> That's because I have the stone already. Uh. It's the heart of the Demon Heart series. An infinite generator, the Akashic Engine. That is the Philosopher's Stone that you're after. Are you serious? That can't be right. You must kill me. If you want the stone, then tear out my heart. There is no other way. It is I, the former hero, Leo Demonheart, skilled swordsman and master of all arcane schools of magic. I defeated the Demon Queen Echidna herself in combat. I am ready to fight for your cause, though still but a temporary employee. As of this moment, I announce my resignation. No longer peers. I restate my wish to end mankind. <laughs> I will say this now. You will not be able to run away from this one. If you try to flee, I will descend from this peak and kill every last human I find. I'll even destroy the texts that tell you how to use the Philosopher's Stone. What happened? You told me you want to save the demon world, didn't you, Echidna? You said you'd endure blood, sweat, and tears, remember? What happened to wanting to obtain the stone and bring peace to fruition? Pay in blood, sweat, and tears. Prove your mettle to me now! If you truly want the Philosopher's Stone, no, if you want to save the world, then stop me! Here and now! Now, brave heroes! the human world protected and the hero is powerful beyond words Ugh. just to speak of him sends chills down my spine he has defeated the chaos lord belial even the mighty sorcerer lord astrod has also fallen to him not to mention the countless brave warriors of old oh young lady should you become our queen i beseech you do not engage the hero in combat 
By fighting him, it would surely lead to your destruction. Hmm. Oh, please. That sounds so dumb. I don't know why you're so afraid of this hero. He's just a silly human. If I ever saw him, I'd give that jerk the beatdown of his miserable little life. Well, not that I'd ever be queen. I don't want that job. You told me you wanted to save the demon world, didn't you, Echidna? You said that you would endure blood, sweat, and tears, don't you remember? What happened to wanting to obtain the stone and bring peace to fruition, huh? Now pay in blood, sweat, and tears. And prove your mettle to me now! If you want the Philosopher's Stone, no, if you want to save the world, then you need to stop me here and now! Now, brave heroes! Leo, you fool. What exactly do you mean? My mind's all here. My job is to keep this world safe. That was the reason I was made. And the reason I lived. Now take this! Oh, this wind's that powerful! The way I see it, if I cannot save the world, then I would lose my entire identity, right? So what do I do when humankind doesn't need me? Well, I have no other choice then to make them reliant again. Prepare. I'll save the world even if I have to destroy it first! You would decide to switch ends and means? Why would you tear down the very thing you want to protect? All that would await you is a devastated land! That's so! Hell, I'll take devastation! I've protected this world long enough. Who even cares if I destroy it at this point? <laughs> Leo, no! Imagine what the future should be like. Empty everything out and start from scratch. Sounds pretty damn good if you ask me. Lord Leo, enough of this foolishness. Please calm yourself. This isn't at all like you. He's right. Exactly why do you have to fight against us anyway? Haven't you been paying attention, you stupid ass general? Well, I hate 
all of you, that's who. So that's why I am going to destroy both the human and the demon worlds. Then I can rest at last and quit this heroic bullshit. <laughs> before. But is this his true strength? What now? I can't possibly fight him in this state. I'd surely lose. And besides that, my mana core hasn't yet fully recovered from our last battle. <laughs> is this the time to use that spell? It would still be quite the gamble. And I have no idea if it will even work. Please stop, Leo! Uh, Lily? Stop it! Please don't do this to us, Leo! You playing? This isn't like you! Come on, you remember? We were on Largo, you listened to me, and you helped me out when I had problems. You told me tons of really good advice, too. That's correct. I did. I remember. Okay, great! Then this is my turn to return the favor to you. So tell me all of your problems. I'll hear you out. So please stop this! We're friends, aren't we? Let's not fight! Very well. Yay, spill it! Where do I start? My problems? All my problems? Is that what you want, Lily? Hmm. <laughs> Say it and I'll hear you out. Honestly, I do have a pretty big problem at hand, you see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's related to one thing. My biggest problem is that the heroes I expected so much from are so damn weak! Burn 
to your death. Inferno! <laughs> Hyperreactive skill improvement, right? He copies the abilities of others and endlessly improves upon them. I wonder, does that apply to defense? If he grows stronger with every foe he faces, with every attack that hits him... No, this doesn't fare well for us. This battle must end. <laughs> I assume that you'd be next, boy. Bring it! I must be out of practice. I really thought that was gonna be a sure kill. Listen to me, that was a perfect strike. This man is just a monster. Good point. What an ass. <laughs> so what is it, huh? Do you want to die, or do you want to be killed? Both. I wish to battle the whole world and die at the hands of someone, anyone out there. Otherwise, it's over. I'll destroy the world myself. Liar. You, you didn't need to join the army to do that. You could have just started your endless fight, and you know it. Instead, you came over here and got all passionate about helping people, teaching them how to work more efficiently and crap. You were thinking ahead. Why would you bother? You wouldn't care about any of that if you really wanted to destroy the world. Shut up, Marinus. You don't hate the world. You don't want to kill the humans, either. That's right. I know what you're really after. Oh, Marinus. A blue freezing auto counter? Just how powerful is he? That makes three. <laughs> you want to know what I'm really after, huh? I already revealed that. I only have interest in saving the world, even if I have to destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> You're finally ready to fight me, huh, Lily? I don't want to fight! Please, I don't want to! We don't have to do this! Leo! You don't look like you're having any fun! <laughs> you're smiling, but I can tell you're not happy! So, I'll help! I'll stop you! Because I love you, Leo! I love you a whole lot! So I'll help you by stopping you! Whatever it takes! Lily! <sighs> Alright then, show me what you've got. <laughs> Right then, I realized the truth once more. Leo was neither human nor demon. He was, in fact, a monster created by ancient humans. We can't win like this. He'll kill us. Then humanity. Then the demon world. Then the future. I have no time left to falter. Shutina. Oh. Huh. I'm, I'm using it. Buy me 42 seconds of time. Honestly, my queen? That long against Leo? I've no one else to turn to. If you cannot, we fall. Oh, I'll do it, of course. Why wouldn't I? It's just one more impossible demand you've foisted upon me, like any other. I'm sorry. If we make it back alive, I'll treat you to the finest wine. This may be the one and only chance we have left. But... If I'm correct about Leo's true objective, his real motive, then I might be able to win. I might be able to kill him. A spell? You heard me. Now that I'm about to abdicate my throne to you, it's my responsibility to pass it on. Why is that exactly? Just because I'm your daughter? 
Please, that doesn't mean a damn thing to me. Never mind. As a matter of fact, just forget it. I need not your assistance, nor any secret royal magic. Look, look I don't want to have to pass it down either. But I have no choice. This spell has been passed down for centuries between demon kings. Centuries? You do know of the hero, don't you? Well, of course. You're speaking of the hero that defeated so many of our brethren long ago, aren't you? Right. Well, this spell has importance since Astaroth devised it to assist in battle against him. It was solely designed for defeating the hero. Solely for him? The spell is highly limited in its uses and is extremely costly to cast. I know not of any demon king who has yet to use it. To be completely honest, the spell itself is no more than a gamble. If that is true, then I may never use it. I needn't rely on such a gamble, nor fear him. The full extent of my power will certainly be more than enough. <laughs> Thought you'd say that. Very well. Perhaps you will be all right after all. Of course I will. Neff, Salem, Arcrinus, and you! Hell, Leo! I knew you were a terrible liar. I saw right through you. You could have killed Edward, but you just sent him flying instead. You interrupted Marinus before he could finish his sentence. You even hesitated when Lily offered to help. You don't want to destroy the world, do you? The only thing you hate is the very same thing you want to destroy, and that would be yourself. I know you're afraid of your future. A future where you want to save the world, but if your life has no meaning, then you can't. And you're written with fear that you might actually destroy the world in order to save it. I'm right, aren't I? yourself into the role of the villain! I know exactly what you're up to. This is all in a bid to get us to defeat you while you're still sane! You're only ensuring your Philosopher's Stone and work gets passed on while ensuring that humans and demons join together! You're such a fool! Six chains, twelve swords to avenge the world! I'm almost there. Is that really the best you could do after three thousand years of life? Leo! Get over. That's enough. Die. It's you who will die here. Listen, I'm going to tell you how this spell is going to work. It will use all of your mana to disable the hero's abilities just for a brief moment. We call this magic Hero Binding Spell Anti Leo! Humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity Save the from world. Evil. It's Protect my sole objective. From evil. I was to obey that order from the moment I was born. It was fine at first. Just as Master Abred had said at the time. The current world fulfilled my purpose. The people wanted what I had to offer. I fought alongside allies, defeated powerful foes, and brought peace to the world. Back then, I was pure and innocent, celebrating that peace from the bottom of my heart. And yet, 
the peace and calmness stretched on and on, and the world found itself without need for a hero. I no longer had a reason to exist. So there is more for me to fight. Regional conflicts. Guess that means the humans and demons couldn't coexist peacefully after all. Wars between nations. It's so silly. You guys learn nothing. Then, there was an invasion from the demon world. I felt the world was telling me that I only deserved to live in it under one condition. And that was solely when I was fighting. I can fight again. I can be a hero again. I can save humanity again. A hundred years passed. Then two hundred. Before I knew it. Five hundred. A thousand. Then more as time flowed endlessly on. I traveled the world. Searching for battle after battle. Fighting endlessly on. DH-05. Leo. Was built around hyperskill development. With every enemy I fought and defeated, I would gain new techniques. And eventually, I stopped encountering even matches. I had become what the scientist who made me had wanted me to become. An unstoppable, unkillable, immortal bioweapon. It was a great success. Then once again, a long peace took hold. Get your fresh baked bread! Hello there. This pretty, please. My goodness, only one? Yep, just this. It'll be plenty. Yeah? Alrighty. What good kids. For you. Are you sure? Oh boy! The extra's on me. Thank, Thank you. you. Come back anytime. I sincerely hope this peaceful world lasts forever. Hey, why aren't you smiling? You're supposed to smile. Come on, smile and say me too. Eventually, I realized there was a part of me that wanted the world to be in danger. I wanted every person, no every life form on this planet to need me. To be in the same hopeless peril it was when I was made. I want to save the world. Please let me save it. If I can't save the world, I'll lose myself. Bring more danger to humanity. Bring more chaos to the world. Every day, more desire for destruction. Every day, more errors in my consciousness. <gasps> I could just do it myself. Plunge the world into peril. It's so obvious. Why didn't I think of it before? The DH series had a safety feature that prevented the unit from bringing harm to humanity. Thought masking. It restricted the unit from thinking harmful thoughts. But developing a sense of self growing an ego had disabled its functionality for me. And I knew how to do it. How to craft the perfect crisis for my world. Though I couldn't recreate the Akashic Engine, I made the heroes the same as they were 3,000 years ago when they first saved humanity. Yeah, it's been too long. It's 05 Leo. It really has been. Just look at how much I've changed. You have a new job. Please give me a world that needs saving. Go kill all of humanity. So I have a reason to protect them. Because I... Because I... Still don't want to die. I still want to live. I still want to be a hero. I still want to be a hero. I still want to be a hero. Demons! Demons are attacking! What? Inform the king at once! Tell me what's happening. A huge portal opens up in the Seishat Mountains! There are demons pouring through! It will be alright. I'll handle... What was I doing? Damn it all. 
I done? I was going to destroy humanity for my own selfish satisfaction. I was no hero. Not anymore. I've become a demon. A hero wouldn't do this. I'm the actual Demon King here. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. That evil is here. I'm that evil. The only surviving unit of the Demon Heart series, O5 Leo, was the greatest evil threatening the world. I'd destroy the world for my own selfish cause. Toy with human lives to fulfill my own desires. I realized then that no Demon King could be more evil than I was. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. I know, I know. I've still got a plan. And besides that, it's not like I haven't learned anything these last 3,000 years. Soon I was setting off on a mission to destroy the Demon Army. I was the hero who would save the world. I promise, I shall defeat the Demon Queen and her army too. I had to quit heroing. I had to defeat evil. But I couldn't just be defeated. I needed to leave the Akashic Engine, the Philosopher's Stone, to someone I deemed worthy. They had to be strong enough to defeat me. So when I am gone, they could defend humanity in my stead. What are you doing? You heard my orders! Yes, this is an invasion, but we must avoid killing. It should be a last resort. Territory we occupy must be ruled peacefully. Now is everyone clear on that? Your queen commands you. No pillaging, destruction, or arson. And do not slaughter innocent civilians, do you understand? Remember, we did not come here to wage a war with anyone. So this is an invasion and not a war? Yet that was the kind of queen she was. Uh, fine, fine, I'll talk, I'll talk, I swear it! Queen Echidna, she's just, she's kind of weird. She invaded the human world just for one reason, and that was to make the demon world a better place. There's never been a demon queen quite like her before. I've never met a woman as deserving of praise as her. I speak the truth. She's forbidding us from doing unjust harm to the humans. She's even on the front lines, leading us into battle. I mean it when I say she's a selfless person. She will give praise to literally everyone, including us undeserving low-level imps. Queen Echidna is such a kind ruler. Never would have guessed it'd be the Demon Queen. I'm honestly surprised that this Echidna woman has been the successor I'd been looking for this entire time. Finally. Hell, she might be able to do more than just take my heart. She could become the bridge between human and demon realms. Just to be sure, I should give her an interview. <laughs> but first, I should save the world. That was the day I began my final journey. I vow on my warrior's honor, you shall not pass! If that's the case, I vow on my hero's honor, I will! <laughs> it's a journey to stop heroing. I will not hesitate one bit to kill you. Sure, do it if you're able to. A journey to kill the hero Leo. Ah! Don't you dare hurt again! Do you have a screw loose? You've got to be stupid to ask that of me right now. I would find out what Echidna and her four generals were all about. I will see Queen Echidna's dreams realized. I will see peace come to the demon world. I'll die for it, happily! Listen to you. You almost sound like the hero yourself with those big words. I'd see if they were trustworthy. So it is you, Hero Leo. Queen Echidna, I'm here to see what you've got for me. I'd work for her, learn her thoughts and her feelings. I wanted to determine if she was the right person that I could entrust my heart to. And then, I would die. The Demon King must be defeated. That's just how the world works. After 3,000 years of life, the bug-riddled bioweapon... It's you who will die here! ...chose this absurd theatrical display. 
as his method of suicide. Hero binding spell! Anti-Leo! No. I thank you. <laughs> that smile. Could it be that this is what Leo wanted all along? Good people, I 
had fun working with them. I'm thankful. I wish I could have worked with them longer, but alas... <sighs> Damn it. I don't want to die. Look, Leo! If you wish to go out with a hero's death, then I will grant it to you. Here and now, I will end your life! Great generals! I leave it to you! I guess I lost. <laughs> Feels nice. Did you enjoy that farce? Pretending to be the evil Demon King? I did. It was honestly pretty fun. I've always wanted to be the villain. I'm glad I got to do it with you. I know you went easy on us. Is that what you think? Don't play dumb! Please! You didn't dodge! Should I have done that, though? You realize you guys were losing pretty bad, right? You wanted to lose from the very start. You came here hoping we would defeat you. Isn't that right? I suppose. While I can't say it went all according to plan for me, I'll hand it to you that you did disable me before I killed everyone, so well done. Your little game nearly took the lives of all five of us, just so you know, you bloody fool. From the start? When would that be? How far back does that go? I asked you before why you joined us. If humanity had betrayed you, or you wanted to put an end to the world? Or if you'd come seeking a place to die. What a preposterous answer this is. Anyway, this belongs to you now. The Philosopher's Stone. Yes. I used an emergency override to cut me off from the stone's energy. There's only 300 seconds. So you better not dilly-dally. Just so you know, I can only do this once, so you better hurry. So what, are we just supposed to pull it out then? Uh-huh. It's in there pretty tight, but it's just like popping the cap off of a bottle. <sighs> no! No, you can't! Please don't kill Leo! Please! Stop it, kid! No, don't do this! He's our friend above all else! We'll make it work! Come, Lily, don't make a fuss. Queen Echidna is unwell and needs space. No! smile. Till the very end, he's protecting humanity. He was never going to kill anyone. Or destroy our worlds, for that matter. He knew he could sacrifice his life to bring peace to both, and willingly made that choice. It pains me to admit it. But he truly is a hero, through and through. Just 270 seconds left to go. I'm curious if you have any regrets. Someone's picking up my work for me. And I'm leaving with the demon army running more efficiently, too. 
Everything is good. No, I've got no regrets. All right. No! 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 no don't give up, Leo! Stop this tantrum already. No, I won't! I won't! I won't! Lily. Sorry, Lily. The demon world needs the Philosopher's Stone. Actually, before I die, I have one more thing to say. <laughs> Sorry for all the trouble. Honestly. <sighs> Two hundred and forty seconds now. Goodbye, great generals. Goodbye, Echidna. I'm glad I got to know you all. Thank you. Uh -uh. What the hell? I have changed my mind. Too much effort. You what? <sighs> you want me to make peace with the human world? You fool. Have you forgotten who I am? I am the demon queen, the great Echidna. I am the ruler of the demon world. It's queen. Do you even know how busy I am? I've no time for this nonsensical errand of yours, moron. <sighs> Now listen, hero. No. Uh, now you're merely Leo. Uh, listen, Leo, and rejoice. I have decided to officially employ you in my ranks. Seeing as you possess the Philosopher's Stone and are the only being to have lived 3,000 years, you'll be our ambassador between the demon and human worlds. Are you crazy? You're running out of time! Don't care. Uh, I would have expected nothing less of you, my queen. H hey, come on now, Edvard. Talk some sense into her. No, screw that. Tear the stone out of me. Huh? <laughs> Lord Leo, surely you jest. I'm afraid I must agree with Queen Echidna on this one. You had best give up. You only have 200 seconds. There are still so many things I'd like to learn from you before you leave this life, Lord Leo. Your untimely death would be a great disservice, to me at least. <laughs> How is he this stupid? It makes no sense. There is no better person suited to unite our worlds. You have been around for 3,000 years after all. You're just the man for the job. I don't know... And besides, my darling daughter Julieta has taken quite a liking to you. What kind of father would I be if I made her cry, huh? Lord Leo, I beseech you please reconsider. Is there a brain inside that thick skull? You're the one without a brain! You big dummy! Why did you think of this by yourself so you can end it by yourself? Why didn't you ask any of your friends for help, huh? You didn't even come to me! Why? Why? What are you talking about? Who would have come to help? I would have! I would have helped you out, silly! You taught me that when you're in trouble, you should ask your friends for help! You taught me that when you can't do it by yourself to find... I, I get it, Lily. Uh, one of my shortcomings is my inability to trust people. But this here, isn't huh? the time for this! You have 160 you seconds! Please tell me! <laughs> I'm really stupid, Leo! I don't understand why you want to die! But I'll always hear you out! So please don't die on me, you big old dummy! <laughs> You gotta talk to me next time, okay? Marinus, you'll be able to calmly analyze the situation. You've got 140 seconds left. Marinus, I trust in you. You won't let your emotions get the better of you. Ah, that hurts! You said too big. Come on! Hey, stop! Damn it, Marinus! I never needed to be a good listener. I just needed to fight you is all. Your words, your attitude, and your eyes. Everything. It's all screaming loudly that you still want to live on. This whole time. Fine. Then go ahead and live on, you stubborn ass. If you want to live, then live. You told me to make choices you won't regret, remember? But here you are, dying full of regret. More you only have 110 pain. seconds. Dumbass! No, no, no! Sh Shatina, hurry! Help! Help with what exactly? Have you caught on to the major contradiction in what you say versus what you practice yet? What? Contradiction? For what reason are you dying then? Why don't you remind me, huh? What are you talking about? I don't have time to- I said tell me! 
to protect humanity. That's the order they built into us, and none of the Demon Heart series can disobey it. Another order thought masking erases any rebellious thoughts before they develop. 95 seconds left. What about you, though? Yes, I developed. I grew a strong ego, a, a self. That self turned off my thought masking, but I can't keep my identity if I don't protect humanity. If something doesn't change, I'm going to put humanity in danger just so I can save them once again. I get it. Now I see. That's just how it is. No matter how strong my ego or sense of free will may be, they will never be strong enough to... Yes, do you get it now? If you apply that logic, your strong ego should allow you to disable your order to protect. Wouldn't that be correct? What? No, it couldn't... Why not try it? I don't think... I said try it! Uh... Fine, very well then. Disable the order. Protect humanity from evil. Uh, Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity. Disable this? Humanity. Is she stupid? Protect I've been following this order for 3,000 years. I can't just turn it off. Uh, how am I even supposed to do that? Just try it? Help me out here. It can't be done. I don't know how. Okay, okay, fine. Protect humanity from evil. Protect humanity from evil. I get it. But could you shut up for a sec? Just stop. Please stop. Just stop. Just... Huh? Wait. Did it really work? Did I disable it? I... have to protect the world. I have to be a hero. There was no way to escape those compulsions. No way. Did I just convince myself that I had to? Leo, there are just 30 seconds left. Uh, if you truly want to die, then I will kill you, all right? It is your life. Uh, Use it as you see fit. I don't know dick about bioweapons, but prioritize you. Live your life the way you want. But if you want to live, then do not waste your life trapped by someone else's orders. One more thing. Don't get too caught up in this born to protect humanity shit! You got that? Humanity has exiled you. Is this not the perfect opportunity? Work under me, and leave heroing behind for a new way of life. Now's your chance. The day that humanity stops needing you, then that's gonna be your chance to split! You take care, okay? Find something else to live for! Anything! <laughs> Why not quit heroing? Come join me. Three thousand years of endless solitude are over. You're with us now. Well, you guys sure let your guards down. Foolish indeed. Mm -hmm. Sharing wine with former enemy hero Leo, then falling asleep in his presence like a lush. Had you told me of this before, I would have laughed it off. I really don't see the problem. 
We're allies now, after all. You're my subordinate, not allies. I will admit it, you had us all fooled for a while. You even gave our generals a false motive behind your actions from the start. Everything I said happened was the truth, though. However, I never had any ill will towards mankind. Here I thought I was interviewing you. It's amusing how it was the demon army being tested the whole time, though. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Leo, do you have any regrets at all? What do you mean? Don't dodge the question. That was your one chance to die. You may not get another for centuries to come. This is a big deal. Do you regret giving up potentially your only chance to be freed of your burdens? Well, that is a good question. However, I want to help you guys out. Hold on, where is this coming from? It was back when we drank together. When I heard your story, I knew I wanted to help you. My goal is to bring order to my world of chaos, to rid that tragic land of conflict. I want to make your wish come true, however I can. I want to help you find a way to obtain unity between humanity and humankind. That's the reason why I'm here. So I don't really regret a single thing. Have you already forgotten that I am a villainous conqueror? One who ruthlessly invades other worlds and wreaks havoc for her own gain? Do you truly believe working beneath such a villain would be virtuous for a hero like you? Come on. None of that's true. You're a kind queen who cares deeply for her people. Uh it's true, I know. It's what drove you to invade the human world for the sake of your homeland. And that kindness led you to empathize with the people you were conquering. That's how I beat you. You love your people. Conquest doesn't really suit you. And even now, you're asking me these things out of kindness. You want me to know this is my last chance to reconsider, right? However, your kindness has saved my life. Let me help you, Echidna. I'll do anything to ensure you never have to play the villain again. You can finally be the kind queen you truly are. For all of your people and everyone else. This I swear. Am I really able to trust you, though? Well, of course you can. I've been around for 3,000 years, and in the entire time I have been alive, I've never ever made a girl cry. Well, uh, you're uh, okay, huh? I take it back. It's not true now. But I'll uphold that promise anyway. I swear. <laughs> I was honestly planning on giving you one last chance, but it appears that I have been sorely misguided, haven't I? I hadn't expected you to repay me with such a purposeful new lease on life. But you know, I do quite like it. So you accept my answer, then? I do. I'm looking forward to working with you, former hero, truly. The honor is mine, Queen Echidna. And I truly mean it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I came to join the Demon Queen's army. Father! Uh, I, I'm sorry, but is General Edward here? Oh, uh... Ah! Please forgive me, I am so terribly sorry, Your Highness. I deeply apologize for interrupting your romantic moment with Lord Leo. Ah! <laughs> what? No, this was not a romantic moment, you fool. Uh, forget mm -hmm. that. What did you come here for? Tell me. Right. The Wyverns are dissatisfied with their treatment and have begun to riot. I'm afraid it's a rather pressing matter, Your Highness. Darn it, again? All right, you all. On your feet! Ah! Oh, my deepest apologies, Your Highness. We are awake, my queen. Go, Edvard. Deal with them before they cause any damage. At once. Peter Lily, pardon me. <sighs> What's up? Sorry to bother you, but Margo is complaining that the elixirs that were due yesterday haven't been delivered yet. That's no good! Uh -huh. Excuse me, General Shutina, one of the tomes in the fourth library is one of and is summoning a stream of chimeras. Oh, that accursed tome again. I'm going to burn this tome once and for all. Now please come assist me. Oh, Verity, I was looking for you. We can't open the dining hall without your help. I quit, remember? I, I know, that. but let's talk later. I need you. Pardon my intrusion, Queen Echidna, but what should we do about the Great Spirit Board? Your Highness, please listen. We have urgent message for you. Are you Queen Echidna? Ready to get to work, Leo? You said you would do everything in your power to help me. You're not having second thoughts on this, are you? Be honest with me. Of course. I said what I said, didn't I? As you can see here, we have mountains of work to do. Before we take on the large-scale issue of uniting the human and demon realms, we'll need to tackle the problems we're currently facing, right? I will make full use of your talents, so do be ready. You don't need to tell me that twice. I'll take care of everything you throw at me, so sit back and enjoy some tea. <laughs> That was the story of how I came to join the Demon Queen's army.
How the hero Leo, a biological weapon created 3,000 years ago, broke free of his ancient commands to move forward on his own. How he made a great many friends. Friends he could trust. How I finally, after all that time, was able to quit heroing. Time to get started. But with what first?